All right, guys, we're live here. Uh, Chris Forbes, I'm with Sean Jones. Uh, one of the, we're here, uh, Broken Arrow versus Enid. Just gonna, one of our first little little matches back. I know they had a duel over, or had a tournament and a duel over there in Gary, but first matches back for the new year, so happy new year to all you Tiger fans. Um, I guess, Sean, we're starting at 157, right? 157, this is Hol Holden Belio Okay. Enid. Holden Belio from uh, Enid. Um, he's actually gonna be wrestling from Broken Arrow. Um, we'll have uh, actually uh, one. This is Garrett Stinscombe's way. Garrett got hurt okay. this past weekend at Gary's. So okay. So we so we've got come, someone Bryce in. Bryce Jones. Bryce Jones filling in for Garrett Stinscombe. He got hurt at Gary last week. He got up to a, a two nothing lead. Getting some back counts here, Sean. You know, and cousin man, I, I've noticed with the football and. Now we've got some rounds. We've got a lot of Joneses. I, I thought it was a real rare name, but <laughs> right. uh, it's a pretty common thing going around, broken out. I'll tell you what, though, if the, the Joneses are, are, are anywhere near, you know, you got the Smiths and now you got the Joneses. Those uh -huh. are some tough names right yeah. there. Well, I don't know about that, but oh, no. I do know there's a, a lot of Joneses that play football, and we've got a few of the rest of the team. No doubt, no doubt. Um, I was huge for Bryce to get that, that, you know, that back count. We were talking – you know, when you see matches, it's hard to separate the score when you're just doing takedowns. You know, it kind of keeps it close. But if you can get some near fall points, that's, right. that's huge. Yeah, yeah, he's got him a deep cradle. Look like he's locking that cradle. He's got that arm trap, too, arm which is trap, which is Run huge. those hips. Ah, those hips. let it go. Let it go. Uh, I don't know how much how much time he's had on the mat this year. Yeah. Of course, you know, you had an open season. But uh, I don't think he started any varsity matches because of Stinchcomb, Garrett Stinchcomb starting at 157. And so what what age, what grade is he in? Do we know what grade he's in? I can't tell you, okay. Chris. I, but yeah, he's he's getting some experience. My brother them's got to do a little better job of getting us something that <laughs> That's we can right. look at. That's right. Hey guys, we're sitting here. We know a lot of the guys, but then there's some that we have to kind of wing it here. But um, we do know that you know he had, had got a lot of varsity experience. Probably one of his first times out there for the varsity, so it's good for him to get this varsity experience. And he's doing good so far. He's up 4-0 going into the second period. I'm looking around game. here. I'm looking around here, Chris. Man, do we have the who's who of referees that are? Uh, oh, we've no got doubt. A, we've got two we've Division got One referees. Division One college referees right here, and then we've got a former uh, Broken Arrow alum, uh, David Cherninsky, over here. So. Oh, okay. Is that who that is? Yep. Yep. Okay. So, I remember him. Yeah. So it's a pretty, pretty, pretty cool little deal here. But like you said, we got the. You can't say we're getting bad officiating here today. I just watched Iowa State wrestle somebody on TV the other night. Uh, and Briscoe was officiating. Briscoe was officiating. Yeah, yeah. And of course, Jr. was at the scuffle. He's, and he's one of the guys. He gets the final matches for the NCAA. He Absolutely. Had, he had a, a car, uh, oh, David Carr's final match and a couple others two years ago. So he's good. He's definitely in it. Uh, Sand Springs boy. We were enemies at one time. Uh, Broken Arrow Sand Springs were butting heads. But Absolutely. Sand he Springs was a boy. Sand Springs boy. Get, get to your feet, Bryce. Get to your Come feet. Come on, yes. He's got to keep that hand, fight not, that hand, and just you get You know, he's not even got anything. Oh, there you there go. There you go. Now he needs to keep it, put it to his. He's got to get a fall here because yeah. Broken Arrow needs these points. There we go. Got a pin. He just grabbed him and threw him, did. Threw him down. Threw him. Uh, I, think, I think the eating guy kind of didn't put up much of a fight there either. I like that. I, I hope yeah. that's the way the whole night goes. No know? doubt. Yeah. All right, now I know this is Austin Brown for the Tigers. Yes, and he was he was actually what he was thinking about not wrestling for a while, and he just decided to come back out. Who is this for you guys? Uh, Blake, please, so do you know who is Austin? This is Austin Brown for the Tigers and Blake. Blake uh, Forsa. Yes. Blake Forsa. Yes. Okay, Blake Forsa for Enid. Is that? And then we've got uh, Austin Brown. Austin Brown off to a quick start here. Nice road through. Yeah, he, he probably, you know, you got to settle in on those. It looked like excited. you kind of got, got a little, little too excited. excited on that. It's so. always nice freestyle to take somebody feet to bat. No doubt. You get your points then. Um, but, yeah, we were talking. He's a football player that didn't know if he wanted to come out or not. Um, his his uh, uncle is uh, Jake Herriger. He was a state champ for, for Broken Arrow. That's so. Right. Um, he's got it in his blood. I actually went to high school with Vance, his dad. Oh, yeah, Vance. Yeah, that's right. You guys went to high school together. So it's good to see him on the mat, you know. He's a lot better looking kid than his dad, man. I, I, <laughs> right. I'm still trying to figure out. If Where that came from. Yeah. Uh, Ask him if he's got a milk delivery system over yeah, there or something. absolutely. <laughs> oh, see. Now, he doesn't have the arm right here. But he's, but not, he's, but he's up. not locking it. Yes. So. What we're talking about here, if he would have locked around that head without the arm, it would be a penalty one point. But since he didn't lock or, or touch hands, 
um, what in the penalty? Austin's a good athlete, and this is what I think we're seeing. This match is going to be exciting. Yeah. I mean, we're A lot of points here. getting scored. right. It's 2-2 right now, but there's a lot of action being done. If you're here. watching the match, you think it's about 10-8. Yes. Uh, but it's not. <laughs> I'd hate to rep this match. I'll I tell would, you I would, too. I don't know if JR's got it in him. <laughs> Getting a little bit older. Now, Jared was a West Sider. He was, was Sepulpa. Was he a Sepulpa guy? Or? Well, no, he was Tulsa Webster guy. Tulsa Webster. Okay, I thought it was he's Webster. Tulsa Webster Sepulpa. guy all the way up until maybe his junior year okay. or senior year. He went to Glenpool. That's right, Glenpool. That's right. I remember he was later on, he was at Glenpool. Yeah. So neutral here. Um, still, still up. No matter what, refereeing, this is good practice for these guys to be in these matches. And oh, yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Work their signals in their hands. And, and, and like I said, and this is this is for districts. I think Broken Air already had one duel at Dell City earlier today and, and, I, yeah, and got the win. They beat them pretty pretty handily. Uh, they'll right have Enid, and then their their last duel will be a Wasso. So. Last duel will be a Wasso, and a Wasso. I watched the Wasso while ago. Yeah, Wasso's That's pretty really tough. Good, yeah. Got former coach Mike Ryan's son. Well, Mike Ryan, yeah, yeah. His, uh, his son over there doing a good job. So BA's choice. We got a 3-2 first period. Uh, Brown, uh, got a 3-2. BA got the lead here. Um, you know, Austin's got the 3-2 lead. Shoes is down. You know, I think, uh, you know, you may you may be familiar with the two guys over there in the corner at Broken Arrow. <laughs> Biff and Rod Jones. Oh, absolutely. They do a good job, though. They want those guys to go down and get your points, you know. Yeah, uh, go down. And uh, guys like Austin have got to do a better job technically of learning how to get off bottom. No doubt. Us, no you, doubt. You, you, you just don't go down anymore and take a switch or take a motion away. Uh, and and, uh, and you never know when you're going to need it. And, and I think coach, both coaches, Biff and Rod, are really good about no, we need to learn. Like, we're going to put you down. We need to learn because there could be a state time, a state finals match or a oh. placement match where you've got to get off bottom. got to so, go down. Yeah, you've got to go down. Unless you're wrestling in a big-time semifinal final match. Then we can do there, strategy You know a guy that's going to ride you, uh, put a saddle on you. That's different. Yeah. But in this stuff right there, right now. It, it, it. So it's called a technical. He's Pulling pulling on his head gear. Yeah. Should be one point for uh, Austin there. So, yeah. Um, so he's got a 4-2 here. He's still got to get off bottom. He's got to, got to move on bottom and get off. People underestimate the, the power of getting off bottom. They think, well, I, I'll go down and, and no, you can't get off bottom. Yeah. Uh, it's now, a good wrestler. You, you're not getting off bottom. No doubt. That was a good first move. He's got to clear his leg Close. here. He's got to move. get his leg cleared. There you go. Right now there. I can suck it Square. in and change it off. He's got to be careful with the cradle, but he can hip, it. He can hip over, it which is. is what he's doing right now. Elevate that leg. If he can elevate that leg up, get his head. He's got to get his head yeah, up. Look at that. There you reverse. go. Got a reverse half here. Needs to settle in. Get his head head up, body up. He needs to walk it walk toward the hips. head. Yeah, yeah. Walk if he walks it toward the feet. head, he can pull him over. So Austin's got to walk this toward the head. He's got 33 seconds left. And this guy's doing a good job of grabbing it and walking toward his head. It's dangerous. Uh, 26 seconds left. Uh, yeah, he's, 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 he's got in trouble him here. He's got, he's got him seconds. laced. 15 Austin's seconds He's got to left. fight hard here. He's got the kickstand out. Now, if he double flankers over here, that's uh, hard to get out. So he's got a Under 10 seconds to go. Oh, oh man, there man. it is. So that was huge. Now we've got it tied, tied duel. Both get a pin oh, the first. Oh, he's got to be careful. Point. Yep, team point there. It's team point. Throwing his head gear. Uh, and that's another thing, coach. It's one won't thing be. to lose, but you can't you can't lose your cool that's afterwards because it can cost your team. Well, they'll they'll address that. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. You, you better believe it. Professionally, they're not going to address it right now. No, uh, it does he no good right now, and he's uh, he's yeah. upset. You know, it might. Yeah. They'll, they'll you know, hey. had the fortune of having my sons wrestle for for Rod and Biff, and they'll take care of it. It'll believe me, it'll get, it, it will get addressed. Looks like we got a forfeit here at 175. So they're, they're, they've got a forfeit here at 75. It looks like we probably bumped one of the guys up here. Farquhar, it looks like, got the forfeit. Is so that they, Farquhar? Yep. Yeah, so his dad, Wade Farquhar, wrestled for Broken right. Arrow, wrestled for us. But yeah, they, they gave, he got the forfeit here. So we're, we're, we're moving to 190. This kid might be familiar to you. I know him. <laughs> And he's coming on, man. He, he is. He took a strong, strong fourth at Gary this week. You know, he, he's been wrestling. You know, he, 
it's hard for someone to come straight out of football and come into wrestling, and, and, and he did. He came right into it. Like, and, out of football, not and wrestling. Full all force. Long, you know and, what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so we got Owen Jones here is who we're talking about at 190 for us. He's going to be going against uh, Maddox Hayes. Maddox Hayes. So Maddox Hayes here. Um, but, you know, uh, Owen's a two-sport athlete, just, just, you know, quarterback for Broken Arrow. And he's actually coming under, you know, 190 pounds. It, it's hard to just get in. You've got some guys that are just powerhouse seniors Well, he got beat that. by two of the no number one and number two yeah. 90 pounders of state. Yeah. Uh, uh, the kid from uh, uh, Stillwater, Stillwater yeah. Hague. Hague and uh, Villa, Villa, Villa Novo. Villa, Villa Novo. That yeah. Quick pin there for uh, Owen. Good job. Get him back on track. We had the forfeit, had a pin. So basically, this might be a quick duel. We've got, we're going through it pretty quick here. So uh, we're at 215 now. So I know it's going to be Carlos uh, Alvarado for Enid. So Car Carlos Alvarado for Enid. And this is, uh, this is uh, Cole Lamont. Cole Lamont here, it looks like. So maybe they're going to bump Cole Cooper or maybe save him for a Wasa probably. Cole Lamont's another. Uh, big time football player, and he's tough. Sophomore, yeah, he's tough. You know, these Tigers are young. Yeah, that's got a young team, scrappy team. I mean, I've been real impressed with them all year. Absolutely. And, and I, I just progressively, you know, you can't you can't pay attention to Iron Man. You can't pay attention to. Yeah. You got to pay attention. They did a good job. They fought hard at Gary last night. Those a are great fifth place finish at the no tournament. No doubt. And you've got two nationally ranked teams ahead of you that are in top top five in the country. So I mean, one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Rich keep getting richer. No doubt. Uh, can we just say that yeah. St Stillwater slash OSU, can we just say that's like a farmer? It's amazing. Farm program yeah, it's amazing. You know, they got uh, number one 182 pounder in the nation that just transferred in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and you know, Evan Braden North's Thompson. got pretty much, it's an all Oklahoma team. Which they're uh, impressive. You know, I was actually I was actually calculating, they've got six Fargo All-Americans and two Fargo champs on that wow. team. Wow. Evan North does? Yes. Wow. Which is crazy. Well. Uh, they're all Oklahoma boys. Uh, I, I, I got a feeling two or three of them are from Choctaw. Yes, kind of I had a couple Choctaw guys. I was, I was actually talking to, uh, actually, former Coach Dunlap on the way in here. We were talking about it, and I said, yeah, they, they've got some guys that came in from Choctaw. But, they're really uh, strong. You know, yeah. that Snyder's son's group. Yes. So he's been a part of that group since they were elementary. Yeah, and one of the a things good job. Is, one of the things as a coach you've got to watch out for is a coach's son's group because yes. you've been – Benny Coleman's the same, uh, and I could just numerous times. Well, even when Stillwater gets their run, and you know they get guys coming in, it's usually John's got one of his kids there. You know that group comes up with, with you know you had JoJo Smith right. group, now you got Sam. You're right. So kind of kind of what happens there. Um, Alvarado had a takedown, so he's up 2-0, but uh, we've got an escape here. So Cole got an escape 2-1. Cole Mont's a good looking kid. Uh, he is. He's and, put and together. He's the future. Yes. Uh, uh, the cook cook is a is a great wrestler and he does a, he does a good job. But you know, Cole Mont's a sophomore. And, and, and Cook's going to OCU, which is great. Cook he's gonna continue going to his wrestling OCU, career over there. there. He's a senior. Yep. Uh, and it's gonna be fun watching this kid grow because Oh, it is. is. He's gonna be good, man. And then you've got in the corner, you know, you've got uh, Cody Johnson over in the corner that helps out with the big guys. He does a really good job. Cody Johnson's uh, a good one. Cody yeah. Johnson wrestled for me. Yes. And uh, he started as a freshman as a 135 pounder. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, and I don't. He ain't sniffing 135 anymore. Drew, uh, I think one leg's like 135 <laughs> now. So how far did he grow between that? that uh, I think he ended up. Oh, he ended up at the 89 pound weight. Yeah. He, yeah. He got as big as that. And. Uh, uh, just a solid. Uh, well, he went on to All-American in college. A couple times, a yeah. couple different times. Ended his uh, uh, wrestling career at the University of Colorado Pueblo, uh, Colorado State Pueblo, and yeah. was uh, third third, third in the nation. Nice. As a heavyweight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, He's a huge asset to have in the room. Oh, absolutely. He gets to wrestle with these big guys. and Nobody, nobody understands how, how, how especially the smaller yeah. smaller guys that's a big deal oh yeah cole's doing a good job of staying on there getting he getting is. he needs a mat return him here but he's done a really good job of kind of staying over him go three one so it's three one right now 106 left in the second period you know this is i know he wrestled probably at, at anola this weekend but he's not got much mat time he's not got yeah yeah uh, he's he's behind a senior you know and 
just getting in when he can, but he's looking really good here. He's keeping the match here close, uh, giving himself a shot to win it. Uh, he's just within a takedown of this, this match being tied. 3-1. He's got a move there. He, he got his head, kind of got his head. If you're looking down, you're going to go down. He got this his head down. I mean, he's better kids, too. I watched him in the last duel. Yeah, no, he's and tough. He, he's pretty versed. He knows he knows what he's doing. He's been on the mat a few times. No, that's pretty slick. He's got to be careful he doesn't get sucked back here. It's, you know, I think my biggest thing is if you're kind of a younger guy, let's not give up bonus. Don't give up right. pins, you know, because you, you might get outmatched sometimes, and I'm not saying that's going on here, but... Um, don't give up a fall. Yeah, this is one of their more uh, talented kids that been, you can tell he's been around a little bit. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'm sure he's an upper class. It looks like a senior, good probably escape, a senior. Good yes, escape. right here with eight seconds left. 5-2. Put some points back on the board, 5-2. He's going to get choice in the third, so if he can escape and get a takedown, he can tie this thing. Yeah, yeah, this is a, this is a good good test for him. No doubt. Wrestling tough. First, first varsity match of the year for him. Yeah. And, he, and he's wrestling a good kid. That's that still, look at the kids. There's a kid while ago that had a full beard. This guy's got a full Manchu on him. Uh, it's just the whole concept's changed. I probably still can't grow a full beard right now, Sean. Right, well, <laughs> it's about the only place I can grow hair is on my face. <laughs> right. Get your one, get your one. Get his clear. points. There he is. He's got right. one right here. He's yeah. right back in it. So we got 5'3", 146 in the third. Uh, he, he's battling here, man. Had a good shot. Had a good shot in the yeah. first period. Is deep. He's got to get his wrist back. The guys kind of kind of trolling, trolling his wrist a little bit. Maybe he can do a drag or, or, or you know, kind of pass that wrist back by. Better things to do with your hands. You got to know what to do with your hands. You just can't leave them up. No doubt. There's another snap. He's got to drag out of here because this guy's really good about chasing the corner. He's going to try to. Yep, there he is. He chased the corner, found an ankle. You, I've all. I, I, Observe that that Alvarado, you do not want to get underneath him because he's pretty good uh, on on that little corner chasing the corner. He's trying to do a stack here. He's got to yeah. get his he's got to bump and get his leg free here. If he can yeah. bump and get his leg free, he'll be fine. I always but, used to tell the kids if you get stacked and pinned, you just need to keep just walk one out the door. Right. I said that's the greatest of elementary. Uh, yeah, you should never get stacked. Just belly well, out we, if it gets real honestly, bad. Honestly, <laughs> we worked on not getting stacked. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it was a, it was a point of pride uh, that. Oh, no doubt. Somebody could reach up and grab you by the head and tuck you under with an ankle hooked and pin you. Yeah. There, nice. Oh, there oh. we go. Got just one. Oh man, he's got it. This a, guy's doing some wrestling, and we're doing some thinking. I think right yeah. now. Yeah. And, uh, and this guy moves real good for. A, move. He moves good for a 215. Turn that head away. Look away. So what he's saying right now is we need to look away and fight the half. If you look into Absolutely. it, it gives that guy your shoulders and everything else where he can get That's you over. That's all blue tee stuff, man. Guy puts the half in, you're looking away, and you're, oh, yeah. you're chicken, you're pinching down. With day the, day I mean, one stuff right there. And he did a good job. Yeah. This guy, 215, thrown in the double flank. 9-5. He's pretty damn good. 9-4, 9-4 final score, 10 seconds left. Uh, first first you match, so no bout. And this uh, he's gonna get better. This, this Alvarado's tough for for me, and he's real tough. So don't to give not up give up any bonus. Here. There you go. Nine four is the final. Uh, Carlos Alvarado from uh, Enid uh, beats Cole Lamont from Broken Arrow. So we'll have Brammer. Got Jacob Brammer. Yep, Brammer's coming up next, and then we'll have. Set Melvin for uh, Enid, so Brammer and Melvin. Now, Brammer's a senior, right? This will be his, he's a, I believe Brammer's a senior. I think Brammer is a senior. Yep. Uh, Scrappy, tough, not the biggest heavyweight, but he's tough. Yeah, he is. He's, uh, he's an athletic heavyweight. No doubt. He can move. Had a pretty decent Gary tournament. Scrapped, I think, to the, the uh, placement round. And they made it to the blood, they make it to the blood round, didn't they? Made it to the blood yeah. round. Won some matches. And, uh, you know, the Gary Tournament's one of the oldest tournaments, you know, around, and it's tough. It's a blind draw. You got some of the top teams in the country, so you could draw two top guys right off the bat. So It was uh, always the hardest trip of the year for me. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was tough. Uh, because once they get you in Gary, they won't let you leave Gary. No. Uh, they like to throw a Hall of Fame. They like to throw a final. They like to throw some plate. 
Oh, and yeah. they like to do the awards at the <laughs> end of, you know, it's 10.30, you're leaving Gary, Oklahoma, you got a three and a half hour drive home. Oh, yeah. Uh, Brammer. That's Brammer. Brammer. Guys are hand fighting here, and we talked about it earlier with Cody Johnson is, is a little bit, you got to know kind of what the heavier guys do. They're more kind of, they don't want to get underneath you, which Brammer did a shot there. They're, they're more fighting your head, kind of wearing you down. Uh, control and center you know they're wrestling more than they've ever wrestled you know you you get higher level and those guys wrestle like 25 pounders no doubt uh, uh, they, yeah the heavyweights are a little bit different nowadays in college than and it's nice it's, it's kind of you know back in the day that they two big guys get on the mat and just start kind of push each other yeah uh and, and they do a little wrestling now and it's as you get it's oh, more yeah. entertaining they're getting these 80 and 90 pounders they're bulking them up and getting them there Nice little, uh, nice look like a little down. pass by and score here for Brammer. 2-0 with 32 seconds left in the first. Got a good waist and ankle and yeah. not driving. Gotta look, there trouble. you go. I was about to say, got to look for a chop here. The good thing, the difference between high school and college is you can stay on that ankle unless the ref tells you, hey, get off it. Right. They don't have the count like they do in college. so Which they need to start. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like that count watching the college match. I do too. I uh, do too. You automatically know that you've got a certain time on that. And you got to get off, off of it. it. Yeah. Now this clock is is stopped for some reason. Yeah. It should be time up. That's a broken air thing. When we uh, and you you know that with the old scoreboard here back in the gym, uh, the one that's on the ceiling. Uh, back in the day, it used to have zero seconds, but then they would have a tenth countdown. Oh dang! It yeah. would go nine, eight, seven, <laughs> six, five, four. And so many coaches would just lose their minds. Oh, I bet. Because that thing would hit zero, and then another second would tick by, and uh, they weren't happy. They weren't Especially happy we scored at all. They weren't happy at all. Uh, and I finally had to explain oh, it to them. Should be one. I was kind of that was a benefit for Brammer. He kind of took our leg and threw us, but the guy was kind of on top of his control, and uh, that worked out in our favor there. Yeah, Brammer's gonna. A big old strong kid from you know, do you know yeah you oh yeah it? this uh Mel seth melvin's pretty strong man he's and he's long i mean he's he's got some leverage on him nice drag by brammer kind of like quarter horses you look at 215 pounders tough uh, i'm sure this is his workout partner yes uh, and you know quarter horses run together and these two look as if you know you'll always kind of look at that and it's not 100 percent, but you always look and you see two guys really yeah hey, you got a six and 13 in the finals or 20, 26. It's because Absolutely. those guys are partners and, and pushing each other in the room. And, and that's not always the case, but 90% of the time it, it's, it's nice shot. Nice, nice shot. Nice Keep shot. your legs in there. You go. That's a good oh, JR. JR saying they're out of bounds. That looked good to me. I won't say anything on the area. I'll just have to talk to JR. <laughs> so good. That looked good to me. Hey, JR's normally really good. I, I don't know on that one. I think it was, I think it was two. He's, one of the best. Yeah, no doubt. <clears throat> he's been doing this a long time. A very long time. And everything he gets, oh, he's Oh, good earned. fight here for Half. Graham. That was a good fight. That guy had him dead to rights. And he always used the term, you know, wrestle through positions. Right. He wrestled through that position and finished that on top. And that's what makes him special is the fact that he can wrestle. He's athletic enough in those positions to turn and move and twist and come out on top no doubt and he's got a 5-1 lead with 30 seconds here and left in the uh second period i think uh melvin of enid has choice does he have choice in the third i believe he's yes, got he choice in th yeah because we went down he gave up points uh late in that second period he needs to make sure to kind of we call it tough time you know when that that 15 second period 15 second range where you don't want to give up any points um, if he can stay tough here and prevent any points, it'd be big. You've got to learn to keep your leg. You can't just reach out and grab your leg. No doubt. Just no doubt. Little little stuff, running, putting pressure. Uh, little stuff that needs cleaned up. I didn't quite like that, him reaching out and grabbing his leg. Got to be smarter than that. See, right here, he's got to be careful. He's just hanging. You know, yeah. he's just putting a half in, and he's not. there's not any pressure. There's not trying any. And that uh, guy could have, he tried it, but he went off it, could have winged him down or something. He's just got to stay over the hips right now. You're not getting a turn. You're not really doing much. Just get it in the third. Right. Good ride out there for Brammer. So Melvin of Enid's choice here in the third period. Going down. Brammer's got a five to one lead here. 
Rotate, chop, pressure forward, pressure. There you go. Yeah, it's pressure forward. Um, and kind of lit off right there. Five, you know, he got back on his haunches. It's 5-2 here. This kid's coming hard now. I think I think he's got to watch some of these hands and some of this. There's a deal between hand fighting and then there's a little bit of a. Yeah, it was kind of rough, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Jero get it. Jero kind of, he'll get on it. Got poked in the eye. Well, I like that. I like the guy coming at him like that. That's a good opportunity to change the levels and take his legs out. Oh, behind. yeah. Next up on that three, and Del City. A minute 25 left in third period. Broken arrows up 5 2 in the heavyweight bout. We've got a lot of action going on here tonight, Chris. We've got three oh, yeah. mats going. We've got junior high wrestling. Junior We've high got on the far mat. We got. Uh, Owasso and Dell City on the other mat. We got some some wrestling royalty in here. You know, we got old Jimmy Arias over there. He's helping Absolutely. out in Owasso. And I've got to mention the sons over there helping calling plays for Owasso. Jacob Arias. Jacob Arias. Hey, he uh, may have Owasso on, but I, he bleeds Broken Arrow a little he's bit. He's always been a Broken Arrow bleeder. Oh, and I, OU. He's OU, oh, one of OU's he, biggest fans. He doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> There's nothing he bleeds more than the Sooners. No doubt. And no it, doubt. And his dad just loves that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, his dad his dad wrestled at uh, OSU, so it's kind of <laughs> well. Man, we got a close match here. It's five four. Guy got a takedown. He needs to look at. It might be like it. he might need to let him go. I mean, I, I'm all right with him riding this out. I, I am too. <laughs> there you go. So he gave, he gave a point. So it's going to come down to a takedown here. It's four to six with 29 seconds left. Brammer's got to get tough here. Twenty seconds 20. here. Br Brammer just needs a hand fight here. Don't get underneath the guy. Legs there back. Now he can score here. He's guys on his belly. Yep. Peel those hands. Just stay there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pretty pretty much. Yeah. You yeah. don't want to do too much. Two, one. There you go. Eight to four. Brammer with the win. That kid was impressive. Yeah, and I'm trying to get a team score for us right now. It looks like 20 to nine, Broken Arrow with the team score. Okay, so Broken so Arrow's got, got 20 correct. to nine lead. So. This is going to be Evan Notley. Notley's going to be, and he's been wrestling pretty good. Um, so Notley will be wrestling for, for Broken Arrow, and he'll be wrestling uh, Fred uh, Ladrick. So Ladrick and uh, Notley going at it at 106. He was also another blood round yes. uh, at the Gary tournament. Yeah, he wrestled pretty good. He's in on a single leg here. Needs to lock, hook that leg and get his head out. Needs to hook that leg, get his head out, and keep climbing at the back. You know, they've got two six-pounders. Yes. Uh, that are both very competitive at the Junior United State Championship. Hunter Knox last year. is another one, yeah. Hunter Knox took yeah. second at the Junior United State last year. Motley took third that's in the same weight class. That's awesome. And, and, and it helps. Those two are going to help each other, push each other. Absolutely. And, uh, now that you just hope that they spread. No doubt. One becomes uh, a little, a little bit bigger, weight. yeah. And this guy's not really opening up here. Um, Notley's working real hard. He threw in a leg. And he's breaking out the old school uh, Asics there, too. At the Asics Tigers. Looks yeah, good. That is old school. <laughs> I didn't even know they still made those. No doubt. He's got the broken arrow colors, too. I like it. There's a good little. He's got to walk it out here. Ah, he let that. He's got to put that hip in and walk it out. He's probably trying to stay on the mat. He's looking for a cradle here. He's got the length to get a cradle. He's a long, linky. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. This guy's got to get off the hands. I'm thinking. That guy's doing a good job of just hanging on. He's just hanging on right now, Chris. Yep. Yeah, Jared's telling him, "Hey, you got to, you got to work here." He'll, he'll, he'll find a spot. He's, Be patient. He's got it. Yeah, he's. This guy's doing a good job, job of isolating the hands where he can't lock up anything. He's got 20 seconds, 28 seconds left in this uh, first period. Attack that arm, get it behind your head. Notley's been close to getting points here. He's got to push that elbow up. There you go. Push it up, walk it out. He's wanting that cradle. He's got it locked. Okay, he's got bump 17. Hips, run your hips. Yeah, there you go. go. Oh, that's, that's tight it. there. Yes. Notley with the fall. Nice cradle. That was. That was good. He was he was going for it too for a while. He, that's what he wanted. So here we're gonna have uh, looks like we're we're gonna have Beckley Hudson Beckley. Absolutely. And he had a really good he had a really good uh, 
the Gary tournament. There's you know, another freshman. Yeah. There's another freshman. Yeah. Uh, sophomore, actually. Oh, he's a sophomore. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. He was a freshman last year. Yeah, freshman last year, small, sophomore. Too small to wrestle. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. He, he wouldn't have got a chance for us. Six last year. He actually got some, some – had a pretty tough six, by the way. Yeah, yeah. He was okay. <laughs> and he got some time in. So he got to wrestle some varsity last year. But grown uh, a little bit since then also. No doubt. He looks good. He's filled out. He's wrestling Hector Perez here. Perez started for him last year, too. Okay. So be a, be a good little – Perez is scrappy, but, you know, Beckley's been wrestling really tough. You know what Beckley's – What did he get? Third, he get third up there? I think he got third, third or fourth. Third, third or fourth, fourth up there in a tough but way. He is a machine on top. Yes. Yes. He took number – Two guy in the country, he right. rode him like. What's it, Smith? No. Oh, uh, it was. Uh, um, oh, it's the same as the name is the. Uh, Barrett Bam. Jordan. Jordan. Yep, Barrett Jordan. Rody. Yeah. Third period. Yeah. He didn't even sniff getting away. So this is kind of where Hudson wants to be. I mean, he's going to put a leg in. He's going to cradle, and uh, yeah, he's got it locked up here. It's tight. Knee in the side. Oh yeah, this looks good here. Jared's looking to see here. Perez is fighting it, but it's tight. Yeah, that's tight. That's a good one. Good job. There's the fall. Good job. So we're seeing a lot of broken arrows, freshmen, sophomores. Yeah. Going to work here. And, it's 32-9 uh, BA dual school here. But yeah, you're like you say. We're seeing a lot of young ones, and now we've got a senior here, Caleb Collins. Caleb be Collins has been around yes. for a long time. I think like, he's multiple-time state qualifier. That's right. Uh, just trying to break through and, and get on that podium this year. And he yeah. did pretty good at Gary. It's a tough podium to get on this year. Oh no doubt. I think Caleb took fifth. I think at Gary this year. Oh yeah, he's he's a he's a battler. He's a gamer. No doubt. No doubt. He'll wrestle hard. So. You know, he's waited his time. He's He's been, yeah. and he, he's fought in the room, and he's never been. But last year, I mean, he's just. And actually, I think, yeah, that's right. I take that back. He's a one-time state qualifier because right, he, was, he was at six, sophomore year. Christian's, my son's weight is sophomore year, tough. Um, and then he, he, he cracked the lineup last year and became a state qualifier. Good kid. Uh, his mother was the tennis coach here for a while when I was here. Yeah, yeah, his brother still doing it. Is he doing it in college, I believe, or something? I oh, think. really? Yeah, I think so. I, I think his mother's, like, doing something at TU now. I don't even think she's with Broken Air Public Schools anymore, but really sweet lady and yeah. good family. Great family. So we got a minute here. Uh, Caleb's on top, and, and Caleb's a really tough rider. I mean, he's, he's really tough on the mat, so he's going to look for some points here. Smart kid. Oh, yeah. And just staying in good position and tying up those wrists. He's just constantly working here. And and I've noticed this, actually. Um, there it is, a little low arm. Keep I'll, running those hips. I'll Keep tell you, I, you could tell Coach Jones and, and, and both Coach Joneses um, put a lot of work into the mat, you know, this year. Uh, from the first duel to some of the tournaments I I've agree. watched, their mat wrestling's gotten a lot better from this year to last year. The that was kind of where that was kind wrestling. of where they were hurting. Um, was Matt and on top and bottom they've looked so much better this year. Learned a long time ago you've got to be able to get off the mat. Oh no doubt. You know and, and I, I'm not trying to offend anyone but but yeah. Oh his shoes having a heck of a time. Oh hell yeah. Hey, my son's learning real quick. He's in college right now. You got to get off the mat. It's it's. If tough. you don't get off the mat, they're gonna beat you. They're gonna beat no you. Doubt. They're gonna scrape you up. They're gonna. I mean. It's rough. It's rough. Uh, but you can definitely tell, and, and you know, both Rod and Biff uh, had success in, in, in college, uh, uh, so they know. They know how how tough it is. Um, here we go. One of the uh, Rodriguez. Uh, we've Evan. got Evan Rodriguez here, uh, 126 pounds. He's going to be going against uh, Vinny uh, Vandiver here from uh, Eden. So. Nice little this shot here. This is the here. second year of this district, correct? Uh, do what? You guys had the same district last year. I believe so, yeah. So, yeah, so yeah. second year of this district. So, yep. they'll, they'll re re figure re that. Redistrict, yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to think, what is it, every two years they'll yes. redo it? Nice shot, nice takedown for Rodriguez. And actually, we had it, they had a pretty tough duel with uh, Owasso last year. It was actually pretty, pretty Owasso was strong. scrappy duel. Coach yeah. Mike Ryan did a great job. Yeah. Uh, Coach Mike Ryan did an excellent job. 
Uh, that he, Duncan. He was one of your dad's protégés, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. And then he went to Ohio and had a lot of success in Ohio. He went to Ohio. Ohio and got to be a part of some great St. Paris Graham wrestling program. No doubt. Uh, I had him here. I had him and Kyle here. Yeah. Kyle's going to be a sophomore. Uh, I had him here. I had him hired out at uh, one of the, the middle schools, an English yeah. teacher. And uh, they, they didn't they didn't take it, but it would have been nice. No Kyle doubt. was a stud. Coach Ryan was Coach Ryan's amazing in the room, and as, yeah. as, as a coach, has always been great. Uh, oh no, he's a great great guy, and, and good to have him back here in Oklahoma, and, and his son now, you know, Kyle. He's 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 coaching over there at yeah. Owasso. So yeah, he's taking the reins, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna get a chance here to watch Kyle's work. No doubt. That's nice. Nice little shot there. Good shot. Uh oh. But Evan's good. He's there scrappy here. That is nice. You got a high flyer there. You saw it. You saw it coming. Oh, yeah. And, you know, he was confident. He, he didn't school, panic. Composed. Yeah, he got in his leg, didn't panic, knew he knew what he was going to do. Um, you know, if you're Enid, you need to get your weight back, know it's coming, and kind of shift your hips. But that was good. good fall here. I, I'm liking this duel. We'd be out here early here. <laughs> well, we getting a lot one, of pins. We got, we got one more. Yeah, we got one more. I'm excited now, for that. Now, they sold me this, this bill of goods. That I was gonna start this at seven, seven. Start, but I started well, we're, this one at seven. Well, we're wrestling junkies, so yeah. we're here to watch it no matter what. Once so. I'm here, yeah. once I drive all the way here, I'm good. No doubt. So here is the older brother. This is Ethan Rodriguez. Um, I get that so confused. So this is the older. This is the older one. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And that's a nice little start there. He's gonna be wrestling uh, Zach uh, Fortner from uh, Enid. So got to take down. Well, see the one that was out with a knee last year. Uh, or is it the younger one? The younger one was out with the knee. He, okay. got, to, he got to wrestle last year. Actually, uh, Ethan. Ethan Rodriguez. Ethan Rodriguez. Um, he actually won regionals last year. Right. Uh, state qualifier. Kind of had a bad state tournament, but, uh, you know, he, he won regionals last year. He's going to try to try to get on that podium as well, kind of like Caleb. Yeah, that podium is, uh, especially in 6A, it's not an easy thing to do. Don't ever take for granted the podium. No doubt. Everybody wants to be front running. Yeah. But, you know, getting on there is huge. You so. know, uh, Saturday night final. and But I was always a backside Bob. Yeah. Uh, and that's where I kind of, with our guys, you know, and that's what wins state tournaments. No doubt. Uh, is that backside. Uh, uh, no doubt. Those guys that come through. And, and Broken Arrow, I, I know for a fact, you know, Broken Arrow was really good about that. Hey, he may, we may not have those, those, those guys that are sitting there killing people in there, but you better believe we're going to get our points on the backside and get those guys on the podium. You know, we won four of the five state championships coming back second day. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. And those backside bobs it's came back. It's important, man. Just uh, just vicious. Nice little pin by Rodriguez. You know, uh, remember it was like 2010, Minnesota won a, a national title with no chance. Nine All-Americans. Yeah. Ten All-Americans. Ten All-Americans. All ten. All backside, and uh, they all did their part. But another fall here. We keep seeing a lot of falls here. So, so the completely uh, opposite of Penn State and their five national finals. <laughs> right. that they, they did the exact opposite so 138 we got andrew uh, uh starsman andrew starsman for uh, enid he's going to be going against uh so for broken arrow here looks like uh seven torres is going to be wrestling here seven torres he got hurt last year uh, hurt what his elbow but tough he, kid good gary tournament yeah uh, uh rodriguez has both had a great gary tournament. yeah they did i think uh you know to finish fifth with the the, the type of uh field that they had was was, was good nice. nice little shot here by Torres and he's keep it on the mat here jump out that good oh that was nice really transition nice. there to a pinning combination I love that oh I love that head hunt you've got oh, you yeah. to establish them wide open jumping up no doubt you know Broken Arrow's doing a really good job of, of, of putting these guys away I mean they're, they're getting right to a pin here I watch this kid from Enid. Uh, so we're at 44. So uh, Stephen Brooks looks pretty tough. He's not too bad. He's going to have one of our better guys. Uh, I, I, I always say Roop is uh, Cadence Roop. Um, state uh, state qualifier, just tough kid. Um, a long, lanky. Another guy's going to try to get on the podium. Works hard. Works hard. Yeah, he's 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 a guy that'll be making. You know, some he wrestled. Uh, he wrestled the number one guy in the tournament, the guy that won. First the, round. First round. I think he had Cole Brooks. He had Cole Brooks first round. Bat up back. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Cole took second. Yeah. But he bat up back five matches to take third or fourth. Yeah. And that just shows what kind of character. I, I know the first time I really got to watch him, he gutted out a win in Gary. 
had to ride the guy out for two minutes to win it and just uh, I was impressed with him. So he's, he's a tough kid. I'd like, I almost like that kid more than the front runner because that's just the gut. No, oh, uh, God, yeah. You know, especially that Gary Russell. You know what you're made of. I mean, when you, you can easily, you know, check it in or are you going to nut up and. There's not a round that you get to take off. Yeah. You're involved in every round. No doubt. And no doubt. especially after that first match, it's, it's win it to stay in it. Yeah. It's a long road, and, and wrestling's a, a, a cruel, you know, brutal sport. So to get that many matches, you're beat up. Beat up. So he got a good takedown, got a turn. He's second trapping takedown. that arm here. Yeah, two takedowns, sorry. Takedown yeah, and cut, he's looking for a turn here. Going to work. He's going to work on top, getting busy. And this kid's not I like bad. that, I, I like that, that's one. deep. Nice. That's deep, don't let him push himself off the mat. Lace him up right there. There you, you go. Think, Jumped off. You think Coach Jones has been working on some pinning combinations? I think so. <laughs> I, think so. I like the little 62 to 9. And uh, we've got another, uh, uh, you know, senior coming out, one of the leaders for him, Andrew Lawless. Um, you know, uh, Roop's a sophomore, but he's, he's you know, state qualifier. But Lawless is a senior. Roop is a sophomore? Wow. Yeah. Or no, junior, I think. Okay. Yeah, he's junior. He's sophomore okay. last year. I'm sorry. He's a junior. So. Uh, well, uh, there's a lot of these guys. They're going to be back next year. Oh, they're going to be tough. Uh, we got to get through this year. But I'm always, I'm always as an ex-coach, as a coach, I'm always anticipating what you got in the room, what you got coming back, and uh, no doubt uh, they're going to be, and they're going to have a great tournament. Well, uh, there's, they're, like I said, they're scrappy, and, and they're, I, I see a lot of development. So, coach has done a lot of development in these guys because. My son was part of the team last year, and I sure. think our Achilles heel was the mat wrestling. Right. And they've gotten a lot better, a um, lot better. Um, Andrew Lawless here, um, good takedown. Uh, we've talked about him before. He's just high energy, just high pace. He's going to go, go, go. He's got to be just super strengthy. He's oh, got to yeah, be. You can see he's got that farm strength, not that farm yeah, boy that, strength. He's just got to be so strong. Uh, Look at He's one arm. <laughs> he's one yeah. arm. Right. He, did a, he did a barbed wire with one arm. Well, it looks like it's going to be the final on that one. And they've already 68 to 9. 68 to 9. Broken arrow with the win. So they can kind of sit back and, and see what's going on over there with the Owasso. And, and uh, Sean, I, I just like, uh, you know, being able to at least sit next to you. You've had so many state championship teams and all that. So for me to be able to sit here and commentate these broken arrow duels is, that. is awesome. So. I appreciate that. And, you know, you being a professional commentator, you know, you're big 12s. I'm surprised. They haven't got you working the NCAA tournament this year yet. Uh, Shoot, they got better than me. I'm just you, a fan, so I just get a, to watch it. You do a good job, and we appreciate uh, this. It's, this isn't as easy as just sitting down and doing oh, it. No it's, doubt. A, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a tough gig, but I enjoyed doing it last time. And when Steve said that you and Chris are going to do it again, I said, yeah, "I'll do it." No with doubt, Chris. that's what I said. 100%. I'm just not going to do it with Cowan anymore. Now we might, we might have to knock him on the head a little bit because. We, we don't get too much information here. We don't get the grades. Man, we, we don't, don't get, get anything. anything. But, uh, we, we try to give you as much as we can That's here. typical. <laughs> that's, that's typical for my brothers. Yeah. <laughs> well, man, we, we or maybe appreciate they don't want, for this. They don't want anybody to know. That's right. That hey, I appreciate you guys in here with the first duel. We'll be coming up with the next one soon. All right. See you in a minute.
conference win here. The winner goes to dual state here, so uh, should be a pretty entertaining duel. The winner of this goes to dual state. Looks like they're going to be starting out at uh, 150 pounds, it looks like. So, um, so it looks like they'll be starting out 150. Possibly, I don't know. It looks they've got 150 up there. We'll we'll see in a minute who we've got up there. But uh, Owasso and, and and Broken Arrow. Here we go. Winner goes to Dual State. Uh, got the one and only Sean Jones coming in here in a minute. Had to go grab a drink in between. But the one and only Sean Jones coming in here to join me. And uh, Broken Arrow Owasso started out. We're at 165 here. So for Broken Arrow, actually for uh, Owasso we got Chad Herbert. And for Broken Arrow uh, we're gonna have. It looks like, um, who we got here for, for Broken Arrow? This I'm is a. Uh, I'm looking, I'm looking. Is that Farquhar? Oh, it could be Farquhar. Yeah, yeah, it looks like Farquhar. So we've got uh, um, you know, Josh Farquhar for Broken Arrow and uh, Chad Herbert for Owasso. This is going to be a good, good deal, starting off at 165. Uh, winner goes to dual state, Sean. So a lot on the line here in this duel. Broken Arrow's got a consecutive street of dual states. Uh, that dates back to, I believe, 2008. Man, that's a good streak here. You, you guys had keep a streak. Oh, yeah. In my first two years here, we lost that streak. <laughs> uh, but you know what? You you pulled it. Oh, they need to watch on the outside of that, to pull on the outside of that. Farquhar needs to keep scooting his nice hips, hips here. Ah, I thought he was uh, going to get the hip lock We there. talked about earlier, you got to wrestle through those positions. But he's fairly new. I think he's only Second been wrestling. Year. Yeah, yeah. He's wrestling really good for two years. Um, yeah, he's got good movement. His hips, no doubt. he was out of that. No doubt. So 2 nothing. Um, this Herbert is one of Owasso's from Owasso with better, the takedown. Better kids. Oh, yeah. I guess the second-year B.A. wrestler, uh, that is. Uh, and this is what weight again? 65? 65, yeah. So this is a replacement also. This is usually where. Uh, uh, oh, nice. Waylon Morris. Oh, yeah, Waylon, yeah. Wrestles. Yep. And we he got also it. got hurt. Okay, again. okay. You know, late, when you get late in the season, that's why your your, your threes and fours got to be as good as your twos and you know ones and twos. Oh, nice. Josh is looking for a takedown. He secured that far ankle here, which is really good. There, nice finish there to it. Two takedowns, nine three and two. Seconds, Josh Farquhar. First period. Uh, nice. He's looking for a cradle here. He he's is. Got he's got it hooked up. Now he's not going to have enough time to finish, but you know what? It's going to get that Don't guy. Roll. To, that guy's going to be thinking before he, he chooses down. You know, wow. you're going to put that guy on a, on, a, it's a great, on a decision. It's a great finish in the period. No doubt. And I see his dad in the stands watching Wade Farquhar, one of my teammates, wrestled for Broken Arrow. Okay. Rods can say, let's get those points, man. Go down. I'm almost like, hey, let's, let's, let's defer this thing and make this guy decide if he wants to go down and get cradled up or not. But with a 3-2 match, it's the right call by He's Rod. He's got to get that wrist back. Doggone it. Yeah, he's got to be careful of this cheap tilt right here. Ah, uh, he's in trouble here. They're getting a count. So it's got a count there. So now it's 4-3. Just got a two, though. Yeah. Set so up, bump him up at a point. We get yeah, an he's getting an escape. He's tied, yeah. Got the legs in. This is always tough. A nice. There, nice. Tiger roll. He needs to grab that oh, arm. Dude, there I, he is. I tell you what. He needs to turn to the head. Turn I'll, into the head. I'll just get a point. Yeah, now just, just get, get your points here. Point. Oh, man. He's got to get out of that upper body. There's one right here. We got a 4-4. Four, four. He's going to do a lateral is. throw right there. We both kind of saw it coming. You got an inexperienced guy. He's got an over-under. He's going to run into it. You know, for a lot of people, that feels like a really comfortable position. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's not. Not so much. <laughs> but a little character here. Drop he can fight back. off his back here. He's got that cradle. He's shown that he can lock that cradle up. So he fights yeah. off his back here. He's going to be fine. If we can get out of this 56 seconds left in the second period and get off the back, which he's doing a great job of fighting. Got his arm through. Did a good job of fighting that. Got his arm through. Now, will this kid go down third period? That's that. I, I wouldn't. Not after I got hooked up with that cradle. No. I wouldn't because that was deep and that strong. That was real deep. Good start. Good start to the uh, oh, no championship duel. Yeah. Nine to four right now. Um, so we've got nine to four. Herbert's got the lead. So nine to four, Herbert with the lead. What was the final last year in you guys' duel with them? I can't remember the final, but it was pretty close. And now they had Jordan Williams, had some 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 studs on that team, but it it it, it became pretty close. Yeah, oh, Williams, actually, uh, you know, one of the things that that won it for us was the heavyweight, which was Tyler Rich, tough heavyweight for Owasso. Um, couldn't find his headgear. Couldn't find his headgear, 
and 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 they disqualification. Is that not crazy? So we, we get in disqualification. I think, I mean, it was close enough that if he got a pin, I thought they would have got the, the win, but he couldn't find his headgear disqualified. We won. It was close. Well, that's, that's, that's bad. That, I hate to hear that. Yeah. So we got four seconds left here in the second period. Nine to four. Uh, Herbert of Owasso has got the lead of Farquhar right. Broken Arrow. All right. Third period, nine four. I'm not going down if I'm Owasso. I'm going to go neutral. He's going down, Coach. Yeah, I'll tell you what, he's going. He's, he's going, going down. Let's go. Uh, uh, if we would have had some time on the clock on that last cradle, uh, it was deep. Yeah. And uh, I said, don't hey, roll it this through. Is, and he rolled it through. This works in Broken Arrow's favor here. I'm all for this. This guy, this guy might be in a, a, a hurry to get out from underneath on this time. This time. He's not going to rest up on the bottom. You know, he's controlling that leg. He's pressing forward, though, man. He's He's got that. Uh, he's too high. high. He's too high. Just finished the match. It's 11-4. It's a seven-point lead. Yeah. Turn yeah. your head there. He's got to turn, turn away. We talked about it on the last door. He's got to look away. He didn't look away on that. A he, little he's, bit of inexperience he, there. He, he, he's, he's fighting, but he's in trouble here. Yes. Uh, that's that's tight. That's tight. It's hard It's hard to and pin somebody a, right there. A lot of time. Minute 25 left, too. You, know, you go to scoop an angle. He's going to try to scoop things. that leg, yeah. Take a deep step, and you're in trouble. But again. Aquara fought it off. He's fighting it off. You know, and this is something that you like as a coach. You know, you don't like to see a guy get beat, but you want to see a guy fighting hard. Oh, I, I definitely. Again, a second-year kid uh, out here wrestling a district championship, first match of the duel uh, against a, uh, an experienced kid, and you can tell right there he's reached up, reached yeah. back, grabbing it. I mean, yeah. Uh, but he, he, he's got, he's got the. Front he's got the heart. He should have. He should have started about six years ago, to be <laughs> yeah. honest with you. No doubt. That would have changed a lot. That he's got. Helped. He's got the heart. He just needs needs a little more technique. He's got a half on him on that other side. That's he's pretty deep. He's got to look deep. away. Yeah, it's deep there. Forty-one seconds. Yeah, that's deep. Uh, it's going to be tough to fight off there, and he's done such an excellent job of fighting it off, and he's not going to be able to pull yeah. it. So Owasso starts off with a pin. They're up 6-0. Uh, we're going to go into the 175-pound uh, weight. And we'll see which one we got coming out here, but 175-pound weight. Uh, we know for Broken Arrow, um, looks like we're probably going to have. This might be far, far here. <laughs> that see, was Bryce. No. That might have. Man, I tell you what, I don't know. Uh, no, I think that was Farquhar on that. That was Farquhar. Yeah. Well, this might be Bryce Jones. This might be uh, Brad Braden Jones. Braden Jones. See, we got so many Jones. Oh yeah, okay. yeah. This, I think this is Braden Jones here. Okay. Kind of tell. He's, he's got. Uh, this is Lyric Wheeler for Owasso. So Wheeler and Jones here. A little poke in the eye there, Jay. A little eye poke. Hey, nothing wrong with a little eye poke here and there. Yeah. Eye poke, double leg. <laughs> nice little go behind. He's still wrestling here. A lot of action. No doubt. A lot of calories being burned already off the, right off the bat. You can tell they're both about equally measured up here there. Oh, yeah. A lot, a lot. Got a little size difference. Looks like the Wasp kids get maybe, maybe a, a little squattier and, 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 yeah, and a little full size. Yeah, and we're bumping up to seven, from, from 65 to 75. Right. So, yeah, a little bit of size difference here, but, you know, competitiveness is there. 55 seconds, 0-0. Zero, zero. Braden Jones. He's going to get his hips. He's got to get his hips Legs away. Back. Short time here. He did a good job grabbing there that far go. ankle. Good job here. That's the one thing, especially with younger kids, man. Somebody grabs your leg, get your leg back. Yes. They grab your leg, get your leg back. You know, back. that's my biggest pet peeve, and it drives me crazy when my son or anyone else coaches wrestling when they go up and come around the waist or come. It's like you're giving them your hips. Sink ah, back. Please. Sink. You get your legs down in the opposite right. direction. Right. Yeah, you, you do not want anyone to have that, that have your, your hips and that pressure go off. You want to sink back Throw down and away. 25 seconds, 0 0. Uh, Got some good action here, but just no points on the board. Second match, district championship between a Wilson and Broken Arrow. 
And this, you know what, I don't, this might be Farquhar, and that might have been Braden Jones, because I, I look at his dad, he's cheering pretty hard, but he, you know, I, I, I can't. I, I got to be honest, and I apologize to everybody that's, that's listening. We, I'm just not familiar with these guys. Yeah, uh, I think this is. There we go, first period, 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, gonna get a, Owasso looks like they've got first choice. Owasso chooses down. Always important, Chris, uh, first match, first point of the match. Uh, if you do go into a 30-30 breaker, it's a, uh, or excuse me, a 30-second tie breaker. Oh, first got a score, nice. oh, nice, ah. nice counter there. And you know what, I think, uh, two. so, we do stand corrected. So Braden Jones wrestled the last one, um, and then this is going to be Josh Farquhar. Okay, so this is Farquhar. Here. This is Farquhar right here. So well, uh, excuse our last commentary. We're we're dealing with here. We don't get a we don't have a chart so we can see who's up. So we had three guys listed here from Broken Arrow, but this looks like this is Farquhar that bumped up. I need to start going to practice more. And oh man, learning these guys' names. Well, actually, these like, two kind of looks look similar. I'm, I think the older you get, everybody looks kind of <laughs> the same. That's probably you the know, case. Uh, uh, Thank goodness we're young bucks, though, good, right, Good coach? looking, good looking young kids, muscled up, yeah. about the same size, same height. Uh, yeah, we look, we look like that one one time or one another. One point, <laughs> one point. <laughs> never, uh, we're never this tall, Chris. No, 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 no. I'd yeah. love to have been. But. Yeah, yeah, me too. Looks like he's shoot, shooting them off the mat here. Two, two, minute, fourteen, second period. Uh, There's some some good, good action. One. You know, <sighs> he's got to stay out of that upper body one. right there. Watch Try to trip, but he, he nice. did it the wrong way. Nice that was job. good there. Two points. Nice job. Yeah. Oh, there's that cradle. There's that old Muscogee. Nice. Bang. Oh, oh. A little high. Yeah, he's got to sink back. Get it Now you got a mat return. Got a mat return him down. There That's you what go. Coach Jones nice told him. Nice mat return. And he's, like we talked about here, this is Farquhar. Farquhar is a, a two-year wrestler, and he looks good, man. He's wrestling oh, hard. Got to watch that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a little. Uh, oh, he's got that cradle hooked up. Oh man, ah. he's he's got he's got to lock his hands. He's so close. Oh, dog on it. That was uh that that, that that's the old Muskogee cradle. Those oh, little yeah. boys would hit you with that and from anywhere. You on one side. Uh, that was the old uh, Bobby J Bobby special J, there. Uh, we used to work our tails off. Give me a wrestle Muskogee. We'd work our tails oh, off. That trying to defend that no cradle. Doubt. No doubt. He had some good teams out there in Muskogee for Great sure. Great teams. Great teams. I was actually, oh, no, he's got There's another two. go behind there. Ah, oh, he did a good job. He also did a, had a great scramble. Yeah, he did do a good job of kind of 12 seconds. Out there. BA up 4 3. 12 second seconds in the period. second. I, I believe, is, is it uh, our choice in the third or is it theirs? It is. Oh, it yeah, is that's right, because you were talking about it. You brought up a good point where you wanted to be the first one to score points on a 0-0 because that comes into a factor in the overtime. Yeah, that 30 you'll get your choice. Yeah, you'll get your choice on that 30 seconds. I don't know why we don't adopt. If the colleges are doing I mean, maybe a couple years ahead of us, why we, we, we don't start kind of a trick. Going in that direction because yeah, getting uh, them used to what they're going to see, what they're going to see, and what they're going to do, and I mean, I don't know why it's not universal. No doubt. Man, he did a good job. He's fighting he's hands up. here. He's going to get up. a point. Oh, oh nice! He's going to go, he's gonna go into Half. double. Half two. Nice job. Nice. He's got a. I, 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 was it six three here? He's got a six three lead here. Minute forty in the good third. Job. Nice transition into a double. Good tight waist chop. He's, He's got to bump forward. He's got to put his pressure forward here and chop. Get off those knees. Well, put that you. pressure. There you go. They've got him head hunting. He's, oh, yeah. He's going for it. Right there. Now, look, he, he, if he lifts that ah. leg up. Oh, no, 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 no. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. So, it's all right. Get off your belly. 6'5 here. Keep those arms. It, it, you know, and the, what are the greater things about this? Is you right got there, the, Tiger Roll. You've you got the little that. guys here watching on the side of the mat. Which, yeah, I love that. You know, that's 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 what you want. You feet. want these guys wanting to be the guy out here on the mat. Feet. Feet's best Got to get to his feet. He's got the hand control. Needs to get to his feet. Yeah, calls it out of bounds. Minute two. 6-5 broken arrow. Yep. Down. Gets to get a point here. Needs to get a point. Needs, needs to, get to get to up. his feet. Needs to get up. Get Don't to waller his feet. on that mat, Chris. No doubt. That's dangerous That's there. That's dangerous. Yeah. He's got to control some hands. Get his head off the mat. Get his weight up. He's got to clear that ankle. He's going to be good here. Oh, he's got to be careful. Oh, get get your legs up. Get, get your legs. Hips. Get your legs back. 
He's got to call forward here. Oh, we were in some danger there. I was, you know, we, we want to take back what I said well ago. If we got put on the back, we're off the mat. Yeah. And the guy's hanging the toe. I just want to take those college rules back. Yeah. Say, so let, let's not do the one foot in. We, we're out. <laughs> He's doing a good job getting to his feet. He needs to make sure he doesn't try to get that hip over. Right there. Hank nice, one point. nice. So 7-5 here, 35 seconds. He's dominated on his feet. Yes, we got to be real. He's done a good job at counter-wrestling, so we need to, if that guy takes a shot, do a go-behind. Get his hips back. There you go. That was a good job. There's two. Nice. Nice job. So 9-5 to five here, 17 seconds. Good job by Josh seconds. Farquhar. Come on. Just ride him out. Good pressure. Man, crush that arm. Crush that arm. Get your head pry Did in a there. good job there. Or just let and him he, go. And he bumped up. So oh, no, he, no, he no, no, up. no. He's no, got to no, stay no. out of that. Good, good win. Job. He bumped up. Got the win for him. So Farquhar with the win. 9-6. to six. He definitely should have started wrestling about five or six. Oh, years. my gosh. Yes. Uh, he's got a good flow he's, about him. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's put together. and He's got a little bit of it in his blood from his dad. And Here's another guy that's got some wrestling in his blood. We got uh, Owen Jones here. You know, and what people don't understand is is – He's going to be just fine. And he's come a long way oh, since no doubt. the and first night. And, you know, his opening match was against the Hague or yeah, whatever the his name number one guy or top five what guy in the country. Third and, third yeah. and Iron Man. Third and, and Iron Man. He took third and Super 32. I mean, he's not a bad kid. No. So, and here's something with Owen. You know, Owen's still got a little baby fat on. He's still yeah, yeah. got, he's he's wrestling grown men, and he's still, he's still growing a little bit, maturing. And that's the great thing about him is he's been little his whole life smaller yeah so he's wrestled some different styles not just this big guy style but this guy's coming out this guy's man, all pistols bad. all pistols firing here. and this guy is uh, i believe this is brayton bacon because wheeler wrestled that last round so i believe they got him up okay uh, and uh he's doing some good ducks man he's out leave you know, owen's gonna have to be careful getting that guy underneath him he's that's a good place to be with that no doubt no doubt he's got, got keeping a good head position there and we talked about it in the last duel, but um, Broken Arrow's just coming off the Gary nice. tournament, which is one of the tougher and older tournaments in Oklahoma. Um, it's the greatest tournament. And Oklahoma. Owen Owen just had a really good tournament, and a lot of these Broken Arrow guys did place fifth as a, as a team. So you know what people don't understand about the Gary tournament? It'd be an unseated walking in there, and they, oh, yeah. they draw a ball, and with your name beside it, they say line 16. That's where you go. The best person next to you could be the number one guy in the tournament. Could be the could and, be the uh, finals match first it, round. It's never a determining factor because we won the Gary tournament. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh wow. Oh. He's got to be careful here, but, you know, he looks comfortable. He's wrestling hard, man. Um, looks a little different than he did that. Yeah, first yeah, match, a little uh, different there. Little. And I'll tell you what, um, I love it here. The Broken Arrow's got the two, two uh, Jumbotrons here. I think that they just added that just this added year, that this which year. is awesome. So you got you got action going on both sides where you can see this. So it looks like you got a big screen on both sides of the. It, it, this is a really nice gym, and I know you're a real, uh, and I am too. This is where we did everything. Oh yeah. But have you seen the new complex? Oh my God, it's over? amazing. And how many mats they say they're going to have there? It's Fourteen. Like competition Fourteen. mats, which is well, crazy. Well, you're going to be able to. Oh, nice. Oh, that's nice. Good. That's scary. <laughs> now. Biff's getting into him over there, <laughs> telling him to wrestle clean. But, hey, it, it looks looks exciting from our standpoint. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, first period. Pretty good first period. Both. No doubt. No doubt both guys are wrestling both hard. Guys. Both guys, this is a pivotal this is a pivotal match. And, and it looks like Owen's getting into his wrestling shape. You know, he's been oh, quarterback yeah. for the football team, and he, he didn't even take a break, came straight into wrestling. That's the cool uh, thing about the Tigers, man. Uh, they take that Christmas break, and they do train. Yeah. And they do stuff besides just being in the wrestling room. I came up here uh, and watched one of the Christmas practices. Oh, yeah. And they were in there for about maybe an hour and a half, two hours, and then they went straight over the indoor. Got in the sleds and, they pushed and stuff sleds over the indoor. for another yeah. 45 minutes. Yeah. And uh, it's a game changer. It, it gets you ready for the second half of the season. Oh, no doubt. These guys are definitely, definitely getting in shape. Yes. Nice little Gramby. Oh, he's got him on his back. Oh, did we get a count here? Oh, man. I don't know about I thought there was a count there, but come on. Come on. 
I know I'm his so, uncle. I've got a commentator. So hey, it's hard. It's hard hey, for no. Me to, hey, it's, listen. It's, uh, we're we're here on the, we're here on the Tiger Network I, here. I, I cussed last year uh, <laughs> uh, during that. So I can I'm, they bleep it out? I'm a little bit more professional <laughs> now than I was then. So hey, it goes two two minute ten left. We're, we're gonna be a little, up. Not only we're gonna be a little biased, but you know you got family out there. <sighs> so come on, come on, buddy. He's wrestling hard. Um, I, man, I was almost thinking if they shot called control, I was thinking that could have been a back count for him. Close. But you know, he didn't 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 call it, so he's gotta keep wrestling. He's gotta fight hands here. I don't see this guy getting a cradle on, on, on Owen, but he's gotta quit grabbing he's the leg like that. That's not gonna that. go on. You're not doing now, anything there. Uh, you're, you're gonna, gonna put yourself, yourself in danger. Now he's gotta put weight back. Get head your head up. up. Get your head up, put your weight back. Get your head higher in his 34, and 33. What me and Coach Jones are talking about, any of these scramble positions, you want your, your body and your head high. Um, you know, high, they always have a term, the high, high guy wins, you know, when you're high, high head, high guy wins on that. 20 seconds. Got 20 seconds here. It'd be nice for Owen to get a point or get something back here. Now, this guy went down second period. There's two. Two reverse right There's there. There's two right Super there. Super nice. 12 seconds. Keep your, stay right keep there. Your, I was about to say, stay right on the mat. Stay right there. Don't let him off the mat. six and seconds. we're down third period. We get to start that period down. No so. doubt. Uh, you know, those are tough points here at the end. You know, you get the 15 seconds, you call it tough time. Those are some tough points. Uh, a, this could wind up being a, t a tough duel, and actually it was, uh, it's Owasso. They, Owasso got the choice here, so. Oh, okay, Owasso got the choice. Huh, I guess we had the choice. I thought it was two. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But, but you know, uh, Owen can do a good job of putting some weight on him, wearing him down. Got to be careful here. Where does it count? He's got to be careful of his own back here. He's got to scoot. Two, four, four. Okay, so we got four, four, 145. Um, Owen's got to got to keep battling here. This is going to be tough. Both these Owen's guys are scrapping to here. More solid. He just he, he's yeah. got you know we're we're going we're going for the for the kill. You got to stay behind. You got to control a little bit. Mm -hmm. You got to break. Apart. I mean, yeah, you got to you got to have your body under control a little bit, and that could be something with him still maturing a little sure. bit size, and he's sure. put on a lot of size. You know, a lot of size. He was up about 203, 205 yeah. playing football. So, uh, and so, so it's just a matter of kind of knowing some good, his body. He, he had a 10-9 uh, semifinal at Gary. Uh, there you go. And so he's been in some scraps. No doubt. Uh, and he looks good here. I mean, this kid's tough. This is this is a good match. He's a good wrestler. So 5-4, five, 5-4, four, five, four, under a minute If left. he could slide him by here, the guy's on his knees. Oh, he's got it. There you go. Reattack here. Owen could get a reattack here. He knows what's coming. This guy's just really showed that he's doing a duck. So maybe get from space, make him come to you. 40 seconds, 40 seconds. Uh, he's got to get, you know, uh, control, get those elbows coach right now, up. head positions. Real, this is nice here, but he's got it, got too high. He got too high. Nice peak. That, uh, nothing yet, nothing yet. Nice peak out. Nothing yet. 25, this is going to be devastating. Don't let him lock. There it is. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't, I don't see two there. Get one. You got to get one. 15 seconds left. You got to get one. You just got to get one to tie the match. Yeah, lock it. You lock just got to get one point to tie the match. Seven seconds. Man, I think Coach Jones is going to go to the table in a minute because I don't, I don't know if that was ever controlled. He rolled him through. I, I, I yeah. Coach is going to call him out on this. I, I don't know tough. if it was ever. I don't you know, know if it was ever controlled. You know the thing is, is, is that's tough. Biff. That's tough because you're right. He rolled him right through. His, he gave him he never two. Never established he, control. You can wave it off as an official. He never yeah. really established control, and and that's just me. You know, we've had so many years of wrestling. Just me, you know. And, and like I said, Jr. a good official out there, but I, I never saw him establish control. I mean, right. as soon as he was trying to work up to get it control, Owen did a good job. But he never hooked his legs. He never was around the waist. Yeah. Um, always down on the leg, and Owen did a good job of kicking him over and, and getting his hips back. JR awarded the two, and is when Owen kicked him over. Yes. So the, the it's kind the, of a bang bang the, deal. Yeah. The, the 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 tough point about that is the two points was established, and you know also being aware of where you're at right there. You didn't need a reversal right there. To, you needed a you yeah. needed a, a point escape to tie the match. No doubt. And. Uh, Hips go backwards instead of trying to step around and get away. He got I mean, a little too high on him, and, and he got so, him. Again, uh, over there, buddy. 
Well, he helped us out. We know who it is now. There's two guys here. So Chris Turner Chris is going to be wrestling for Owasso. Um, poor Broken Arrow. Um, looks like, well, we, we've got Cole uh, Lamont coming out again. Yep, it's Cole Lamont. So Cole's going to get another match in. These guys are hand fighting here. Uh, we talked about Cole earlier. You know, athlete, football guy, sophomore. Doesn't get a lot of time to start here because, you know, usually this is uh, Cooper Cook's weight. You know, he's a senior going to OCU, Oklahoma City University. So it's good to see Lamont out here get some matches. Yeah, it's time for Lamont to get some matches. No doubt. It's hard to have somebody of this 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 caliber shelved uh, and, and not getting a, you know, the sophomore season unless you're a, a Forbes or, or, a, or some of the other great wrestlers we've had here. I mean, it's a, oh, nice. uh, it's a sophomore season. It's a great learning year. No doubt. For you to get experience and get ready for your no doubt. final two years. You know, Gavin Potter was uh, his sophomore year. He was a two-time champ, and he went into the break two and about nine. Yeah. Uh, and something happened over Christmas break, and he finished the season. Yeah. He finished the season with one loss after the break in a state championship. Well, and you talk about it, you know, and you coach these guys. You talk about having guys back to back. He had Gavin Potter, and then he turned around and he had Zach Marchesoli right. back to back. Right. And those guys were four timer. And was he two or three timer? I think he's two or three timer. Gavin was a two timer. Two timer. Uh, and he would have won his, his, his final year. But the football man, he had recruiters. Oh and yeah. Every time he stepped on the mat, he had recruiters uh, on him. Well, and, both of uh, them were. Yeah, Zach. Though, Zach went to he, TCU. But he, 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 he went early. He, yeah. He, he committed early and was done with his process. Yeah. And Gavin was kind of a late comer, uh, per se. And uh, he uh, his recruiting process literally went down to the day that. Oh, that, I bet that, they were knocking down your door. All well, yeah. you know, we had we had several Division One college coaches seconds. in the restroom watching Gavin practice. Oh, that's uh, cool. Yeah. Every time we. We went to Texas and had four, Rasset Island, Texas, and had four Division One coaches in the stands from Jeez. four Division One different colleges. I mean, yeah. uh, so yeah. he never he never got to get on track. He was always focused on, on that. Yeah. yeah, and they and, they uh, both went on. They, one of them just Marchiselli just got to wrestle in the uh, or what, play played football in the national, in a championship, national game. championship game. Unfortunately, uh, didn't played go all, their way. Played all the special teams. He yeah. was on every special team. Yeah, and then you had Gavin Potter was part of that resurgence and. Uh, Kansas, and, and yep. he's 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 in the portal and he's transferring. Okay. Oh, I didn't know. That. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's in the portal and he's transferring. Linebacker, he's linebacker for big him. old good-looking kid. Uh, he was kind of at one point when he like leading their tackles. I don't know last yeah, year. Yeah, he was maybe the year last year. Was last year he tackler. was he was uh, he was a player, you know. And uh, with anything, you got a new staff that comes in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're not their they guy. They don't have no attachment. Yeah, they don't have no attachment. You're not their guy. Oh, another reversal here. So nice four. Four four zero needs to keep that keep that arm here. He was working pretty good on top that that first period. He was so. getting close. Yes. He was getting close to that ultimate. So he's got to keep working here. Um, They're doing a good job controlling that hand. Yeah, Lamont Lamont's wrestling really tough here. There now he, he can run that bob wire if he needs to. This guy's looking for that cradle. This guy's pretty got some pretty heavy hips. It's gonna be hard to probably cradle him up. But. Maybe you can bar bar him over or something. Good bar control, good hips on hips. No doubt. Uh, four nothing lead. Tigers needing some points. We're down in the duel to start early here. Yeah, yeah, we're, uh, we're down, I believe, 6 3, isn't it? They got a pin on there. Just ride him. I, I tell you what, just stay we got, solid. We got, we got one of the best best girls in the business here oh, oh emma right. hines behind us she's one of the best uh oh emma oh uh, she's, she's i don't know i see little sister over there doing a little better job oh yeah she's uh, over there they're they're the hineses have been around for a long time they're long they're time. they're uh their older sister was one of our first actually wrestlers in high school girl wrestlers that's, that's she's right tough. uh alley cat yeah and alley then, cat started with us in the uh, uh way back in the day and oh, yeah before anybody here started imagining girls wrestling she was uh, one of the ultimate studs and ended up a two-time champ. Yes. Uh, and I believe she's, uh, uh, her and her brother at the manual uh, uh, somewhere in, I think, Iowa. Um, I, Missouri, I believe. Missouri. Yeah. Right. But, but uh, and her brother was a state champ for uh, Broken Arrow last year, Eli Hines. So That's right. Great family, very supportive, and, and 
Love that they're Tigers. Nice. Nice take down there. Sing leg switched off, man. He's he's getting it going. He's seven one. Could be yeah, seven one. He could be looking for some bonus we in this next bonus. round here. We need some bonus. We're down. Coach Rod's coaching him up over there. Tells him keep him down, keep him down, because we'll get our bonus points in the third. You Thirteen know? seconds left. We're good right here. Just uh, don't get any. Don't give up any points. No doubt. Five seconds no left doubt. In, the, in the period. You know, you've got a six here, take down anything, you know, or, you know, escape, take down, you know, any of that stuff's going to get your bonus. Lost kid's doing a good job not giving up bonus. You know, he's covered up on the bottom. He's already had one stalling call. So uh, uh, it'd be nice to get another one and guy open up a little bit. And maybe maybe we could get that cradle. And and we maybe we need to kind of educate if you're just not watching wrestling a lot. If you're, you're getting eight points, you've got a, eight points or more, you're getting a major decision. Right. You get to 15, you've got a, a, a tech fall, a pin. You know, so it's a six points for a pin, five for a uh, tech, and four for a major decision. So right now he's got nine to one. He's got an eight-point lead, so that gets us a major decision for Broken Arrow. So when, when you hear us talk bonus points, that's what we're talking about here. And he's looking for the fall here. He's going to get it. He's got it tight here, he's man. He's going to get it. I love it. Love yeah, he's it. going Jumped for out it. There and went he wasn't satisfied with that nice major. Job. So now he goes from a four-point victory to a six with that fall there. Yeah, and that's really good to get the – so here's here's the matchup. Now we've no got cook. it tied, nine to nine. So now this is tied here, nine to nine. Cook. We're going to go into heavyweight. Um, one of the better heavyweights in the state. This is one of their bevy he heavyweights here at Owasso. So um, we've got Tyler Rich here um, Tyler for Rich Owasso. Is, you know, I mean, he's that new body style heavyweight. He's oh, not yeah. old. He's and he can kick. move. He's a he's a load on the football field too. And he's going against Jacob Brammer. Uh, actually, he's going against. Sorry about that, Cooper Cook. Cooper, Cooper Cook. bumped up. Yeah. It's Cooper Cook. Yeah, uh, Co Co Cooper's bumped up to wrestle this match. We've had a history of, of trying our, our 215, 220-pounders heavyweight. We had a kid uh, named Terry Williamson, big, good-looking, red-headed kid. He, uh, Coach Rod came to me one day and just said, what do you think about Terry going heavyweight? And I said, well, oh, it's not a bad idea. Yeah. Uh, he had a, a real stud in front of him there. They were struggling to beat. Uh, in, 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 in the state, and he had struggled with the kid all year. Bumped him up. He's a two-time champ. Nice. And, uh, uh, th those are great. Those are great state points. Oh yeah, and I'll tell you where where, where Broken Arrow does a good job, and they've always kind of done that, is they find those bigger guys that you know they yeah. plug in those really big guys, you know, those bigger guys that go in there and make you know, make some noise, you know, place in state or win state. You know, just like Hines last year, he's a two 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 fifteen or yeah. two twenty. That was the the Elijah Hines run last year was yeah. uh yeah. Hey man. That was uh that was, was awesome. That was yeah that was uh, that was amazing. And they always do a good job of that. You know everyone's getting the little guys that are gonna be good, but you know, can you get your bigger guys in there? And you gotta man. I tell you this old kid it's tough. Yeah, uh, Rich Rich with the takedown here. Um, he's up two to nothing, forty three seconds in the first period. Um, broken arrow bumped Cooper Cook up to heavyweight from 215. First time, I think first time this year, or yeah. first time ever. I'm glad he, I, I didn't see him wrestling. I'm like, hopefully he's not hurt. And then all of a sudden, it, seen him come out here wrestling. So I'm glad he's out here wrestling. Uh, he committed to Oklahoma City University. So he'll be, he'll be continuing his uh, uh, wrestling career after high school. Nice, he's trying a little Getting knee Getting restart slide. here. You gotta learn how he to got wrestle. got 18 seconds. You know, 18 seconds here, it'd be huge if he can get some points on the One board. One point, you know? One point, get an escape. Just get, get something feet. on there, yeah. And he's got to move quick. He's got to make sure he doesn't get this weight on top of him because Rich is That's really nice. big guy. Rich is doing some, some, some he's got a baseball. He's putting this weight down. He's, 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 he's controlling it right now. So Broken Arrow gets choice here. So I guess Rich would have been an offensive or defensive lineman? I think he was defense, yeah. He was he was he was a, a beast. Yeah, he looks like he'd be a handful. Oh yeah. Moving like that. Yeah, he's 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 good. And he's had some D1 offers in football. I don't know, he hasn't committed yet. I don't know where he's gonna go. Um, but he's definitely escape would be nice. Nice, nice good escape. job. That was good technique there. Get a, got a little knee slide, got his chest up, fought hands. Keeps wrestling, uh, Cooper's wrestling a tough match here. You know, and, and what you're going to gain is experience. And you don't just wrestle uh, a, a heavyweight, especially a talented heavyweight such as the Wassa kid. You don't wrestle him the same way you're going to wrestle a 215 pounder. Oh, no doubt. You're going to have to learn to uh, 
maneuver. Yeah, you're going to have to out athlete. Different. You're going to have to out, which this kid's a great athlete. But you're yeah. going to have to out athlete. You're going to have to out quick. You're going to have to, you're going to have to learn to wrestle uh, a, a different particular style. Yeah, you, you, you're going to have to get, he's going to have to get the edges, kind of get around. That was a nice attempt there, but it's just hard to, you're fighting a lot of weight there, so. He's wrestling up. tough. He's wrestling really tough here, and and to be honest, a win a win for Broken Arrow would, would not give up any bonus. Right, you yeah. know, you don't give up bonus here. That's going to be a win for Broken Arrow. That's right. Arrow. And he's already gave up a stalling call, and uh, so he's got to pay particular attention to uh, where he's at on the mat and yeah. circling and. Yeah, especially in these upper weights, these guys do a lot of hand fighting stuff like that. So when you get the hand fighting, a lot of stuff like that. Um, Pretty easy for this guy to push him around. Too. Yes. Yes. We got 59 or. Uh, 49 seconds here in the second. Um, Owasso, Tyler Rich will get choice in the third. Move your hands, move your feet. I'd be circling my butt back to the center of the no mat. No doubt. No doubt. Don't let him. Don't let him get. Don't a, let him push a, you out or and make it look like he's he's you're stalling here. But that's one thing we can't get is the freestyle push out rule in the collegiate. Yes. Uh, folk style wrestling because I, I that thing drives me crazy. <laughs> so if I'm the better pusher. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm gonna get away. Well, there, there's a whole strategy to it. The Europeans just do it. They just put, they'll push oh, you out. They just yeah, control absolutely. the center and push yeah, you out. I absolutely watched it and it just drives it, me crazy. It doesn't really promote action like they think it does. It, it's just there's no shots being made or anything when that just happens. Just on. That's not wrestling. That's I don't yeah. know what you would call sumo. That. Sumo. <laughs> Maybe some sumo involved in there. But I guess it would keep people from playing the edge. Yeah. Um, I like the I like the the concept of it. You know. Um, the, uh, again, back to freestyle. The referee, calling freestyle is just so up to the. Yeah, I, it's frustrating. I, I love freestyle. And I love Greco. I, I do like to see if they'd stay more consistent. You know, sometimes the rules change from, from the higher level you get. You've been to Fargo several times. They do a better job there, I'm sure. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm talking but about just, the local. It's it's tough. Yeah. Some nice. Of, good movement here. Three to one. Tyler Rich got the escape, but there's a minute 38. There's a lot of time. Um, and Cook's just a takedown away from tying this thing, so. He's got Coop, Coop, Cook's got a lot of great motion. He does, man. Uh, he's, he's actually. Tie that together with a Cody Johnson low single leg, and, man, uh, you're kind of in business. No doubt. I'm telling you, he's going to be a monster at 215. He's going to be hard to deal with. I, I see him doing pretty good in the state tournament this year, especially his senior year. Yeah, he's a, he's a well put together. He, he's, he's moving good. good. Yes. I'm at. Giving up a lot of weight here. This isn't the case when he goes to 215. So, good wizard, good fight here, keeping himself in here. You and and it might him. not be a bad thing. Maybe I'd move around, wear the guy out, and try not to score. You've got the opportunity to take it, but try not to score. This too is an outside moving motion. Yes. Uh, you know, yeah, the guy just got an underhook and, and about flipped him. Uh, you stay out of your ties. Right there is where you want to be with your motion and get him to jumping. But, uh, again, Rich not jumping. No, uh, on, a, on a normal heavyweight, yeah, you can get away with the, the motion and speed and out athletics, that guy. But this guy's an athlete at heavyweight. Tyler Rich is an athlete. So he, the brothers mentioned he, that maybe Edmund North's got a really good kid, too. Yes, he actually pinned Tyler Rich, um, oh, wow. Ricky Thomas. See, right here is where you can't be because he's no, going to control No, he's going to push that. you around. That was a well, nice good job. clear. Good job clearing here. you got 20 seconds here. Three to one, Tyler Rich, 20 seconds. Good super duck right here would be uh, yes. uh, ideal. Just kind of pressuring into the guy. I don't and know if he's got that in his playbook, but. <laughs> he uh, needs it. And especially for a bigger guy. You, you need something like that in your toolbox. Uh, five seconds here. Nice. Tell peak. you what, peak out. Oh, wow. good match there by Cooper <laughs> Cook, man. Ah, good match. Looks like for Broken Arrow, they're going to send out uh, Notley. So Notley's going to be coming out for Broken Arrow, sporting those nice little ASIC Tigers, those black and gold. Old school. Old school right there. Um, those are terrible. Yeah, uh, right. Unless they've, uh, you know, I had the first pair that come out. Those are the Gables. Oh, the, were they the white ones? No, I had the blue with oh, the blue. silver. Yeah. Uh, Webster. Uh, that would have been my sophomore year. And, man, I tell you what, it's like standing a piece of cardboard. No so doubt. Maybe they put some soles in them by now. So looks like, and, and you'll have to excuse us on some of these. It's going to be a little hard to read. We we don't have the best on this. So uh, Notley in on a takedown here, looking for. A this is Zeb. 
Tibidai. Zebedai. Zebedai. So this is Zebedai from Owasso going against Notley from Broken Arrow. Uh, and a scramble right here. Uh, in college, they'd be counting here, and it's called danger. And they get it. points if that guy's back's there. If he, count, if he counts and he gets to, to two, actually. I love it because of all the scrambling that has been created. I call it. I, I, well, the, it, actually, it actually was uh, they, they did it the year after a, a Dean Heil OSU guy actually helping out with my son, and he ran practice today at OU. He's at OU. And that was the rule because Dean Heil would, would be back exposed, so they called it That's the right. Dean Heil roll. But, you know, we call it danger. I think it's four. You count to four and you give two. Once that guy gets in his, his like uh, it. He needs to use that turk. He yes, he needs to, he needs to get up a little higher higher than the leg. Got he's he's low pretty leg. low on the ankle. But, yeah, he needs to post that elbow up. Yes, now stretch elbow. him out here. Grab foot. You got a foot over here you can grab. There you go. There you go. Now this guy's kind of, <clears throat> he's too low. He's got to kind of put that knee up in there and kind of get a little higher on 12 the fire. 12-9 team score right now? Uh, yes, I think so. 12-9 Owasso. So this has been a good duel. I mean, and I, I love seeing all the wrestlers and stuff on the side of the mat watching this. There you go. Nice. Notley's doing a real good go job work. working on top. There you go. There you go. Sucks him back. Keep coming toward the head. Off your knees. He's doing a really good job here. The Wasso guy's doing a really good job fighting it here. He's got to get maybe his chin in that shoulder. My arms get don't pressure. bend like that anymore, Chris. Oh, my God. No. 2-1, first period, 2 nothing. broken arrow. Uh, he was on the verge. He was on yeah. the verge. You keep chopping away. No doubt. And it's it's putting, they, they defer there. It kind of put him on a choice. Notley's going to go down. Notley and Knox are really big. Six. They are. They're, I mean, they're not quite as big as your boy. But yeah, they're long and lanky. Um, I think they, they they have a struggle making weight. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I believe it. They're, it's got a pretty good size to him, but that's what you want. You want that leverage. And uh, they've got leverage. Oh, they've got some leverage. He's doing a good job here moving. Um, actually, uh, trying to Zebediah from Owasso is doing a really good job staying over the hips. That's a little something. I yeah, don't he's doing it. That movement, though, if you keep moving. Good movement. Switch, re-switch. Both these guys are wrestling here. Right there. Might yeah. look for a cradle there. Two, go to work. Use that low so arm. Jump out here and grab he's that got low a four arm. League right here. Get your butt out. Get up yeah, there. Get there up go. front. Just pull that low it, arm. Start circling. Circle and yank it. Keep circling. He's not going to roll over. You're going to just keep circling and make him pull that low arm. He's doing a real good job fighting it here, man. Good this try. Guy's keep going. Tough. Keep going. He's keep got it. He's close. He's got to stay circling. Keep going, man. He can almost circle that head under now. Keep much. circling. I would start counting there. There's the count here. He's getting back count here. Looking for a fall here. Oh, that's danger. Jared needs to look back there and see that. That's danger. That's danger. He's stepping over 53 there's, seconds there's left looks in the like period. A fall there. That's tough position Cover for that head. Man. There you there's go. There's a fall. There you go, Tigers. That's huge. So that'll put Tigers in the lead there. 15-12. 15 to 12. Notley like getting it going here. And we started at a place that, uh, not suspect, but but. Now there's this is going to be more of a battle, and this coming coming down the pike here in these earlier weights. This will uh, be a good match here. This is a returning state placer. Uh, okay, wow. Bryce Humphreys took uh, third last year at state. He's going against, wow. uh, uh, you know. Uh, Beckley. Beckley, Hudson Beckley. So this will be a good match here. So the Humphreys with the beard, the wrestler, are probably older brother. Yes, they got they got, they got got uh, twins, twin brothers, Jackson and Bryce. So, Bryce and, so they're both tough. Both tough on top, you know. Um, Beckley and, and, and uh, Humphreys are really tough wrestlers on top. They're they're long, uh, use their leverage. So it's be an exciting match here. Yeah, so Beckley kid is not afraid to scrap, and that's, no doubt, he's just no scrappy kid. Tough kid, and he's really hard worker. I know, um, you know, my son was nice on the team drag. Nice drag there. Ah. Well, man, I tell you, I trying say, to get ah. that leg in. That I was, say ah, but man, he's good in this position. Yeah, he is, the, he's comfortable here. I can't imagine. He's trying to climb his way up. See now, he's more comfortable. He's even more comfortable. There he goes. Before. He's got the legs in there. He's got it hooked. He's a little late on that too, but that was I was nice. the matchup about that. Can you spread out? But yeah, he's just out. a hard worker. You know, he's a hard worker. I know. He was behind. Uh, my son last year, but he always was willing to work and, and stay late with Christian and work hard. So this kid, you know, he's, he's talented, but he's working hard. This is his. This will be a big win for him too. This is his arena right here. Oh he's no on doubt. Top. He's got the leg in. He's got. 
you know, people, I, I can't imagine being in that position, being comfortable, but he is super comfortable. No doubt. He does a good job of, of anchoring that leg off. And, and, and he's looking for He's going to look for some points here. Say, that's he's tough right there. Get his hips over the other side. Spread oh, yeah. him out. Spread him out. 40 seconds left. Two First to nothing period. lead there. Did a really nice drag out. And like you said, he drug nice out, and out. then he got into a uh, kind of a crab into, ride. But he got into his position. No doubt. And he's he's been... He's punishing on top, man. He's doing a really good job of keeping that arm here. I'd hate to be underneath him. No doubt. Oh, tall kids like that. Tall gun it. Lie at those legs. 15 seconds, man. He's giving up a foot, but again. He's got to be careful here. He's comfortable. He's feels, locked there. Feels really comfortable there. And he's, and he's got an anchor, that far hook, that leg. He may be high there, but he keeps anchoring out with that far leg. Oh, foot's so he's high. he's kind of safe here. And that's what Notley uh, or Beckley does really well is he's always getting an anchor. He's always using that other foot. You know, the best leg riders are, are using your 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 foot as an extra hand. You know? uh, that's what their feet are. Yeah, uh, oh yeah. Hands. And uh, it's a uh, it is impressive. Get so a, Bryson's get really tough on top too. So oh, is he? Yeah. So this is this, this is going to see what he can do here. Um, both use their legs and leverage real good. He's got to get his hips up underneath him. You know, we talked about it before in the last duel. You can't just push up. You've got to kind of an art to it. You know, get your knee up and you bend, gotta, get back up over it. It's real simple. And you've watched the vision. You've got to get your feet. No doubt. You you get your head off the mat, hand off the mat. You've got to get your head back, your hips down. you got to get the, the battle is getting to your feet. No doubt. Uh, He's got to be careful here. Uh, Bryce has got a good cradle here. He's got it hooked. He's got it locked up. But... but Beckley's doing a good job. Well, he just let looks him like do he's a good been job here. kind of blocking off. And looks like he's been here before. He's 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 got an idea he's, of the position. Yeah. Right at a minute in the second period, Beckley lead two to nothing. He's in a cradle situation here. here. I can. I can't. Oh, did a good job grabbing the foot. Wow. Oh, he did a, Beckley wow. did a really good job there. And here he goes. Here he goes. He's going to. He's going to create a way to get back into his spot. No doubt. He's got a, He's done a good job of getting comfortable low here, man. That, that. Keep that low arm. Yep. Got to keep it and hit. Keep it and hit. Bump. Nice. Right there's a good. Ah, nice job by both of them. Out. Yeah, that was a good little exchange there. 24, 24 second period. Beckley 2-0. Walsh's kid's doing a great job of uh, doing exactly what you said. He's a great rider, too. Oh, yeah. He's tough on top. So both these guys. I've are, seen Beckley ride one of the top kids in the nation, though. Oh, yeah. For two minutes. And so. that guy didn't even sniff getting out. So. No, he did not. So uh, this will kind of put the coach on a, on a decision. Do you go do you go neutral or do you go down? So, you know, this is going to put him on a decision. You're correct. That is that's a decision he's going to have to make. I don't know if he's as familiar as we are with oh, Beckley. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. And do you, do, you, do you waste that time? They're going to go neutral. So neutral. I, 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 that's, a, that's a good decision. I think it's a good call. I mean, get a takedown here. He's been he's able to ride, so if you get a takedown, doesn't matter how quick the takedown is, he can kind of ride him out. Um, that's what their thought is. He's also a good size 13 pound. Both these oh, kids yeah. are. He's, he's, yeah, they're, these guys are big. I guess is it 13 still? Yeah, this is 13. They've changed the weights. I, yeah, I they did. Lost it throws me off too. They've got them. They've got these weights changed. But yeah, this is 13. So six and 13 are same from last year, but a lot of them are different. Nice duck. Nice duck there, but good counter the there by lock. Beckley. But he's got to the hip lock. Be careful you here. Watch his arm. Yep. You can't put that much pressure, Jr. You got to, have to break that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh my God. Stopped it for blood. Yep. That kind of worked out in our favor there. That was nice. That was, uh, that was a nice, that was opportunity. That kind of worked I out thought, in our favor I thought, there. I thought it was a little bit too much pressure on that joint, to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, you can't. He reached back up and got a lock start on that, that started elbow, pulling yeah. that down. Yeah. Uh, but, blood. This, huh. this is going to be, this is uh, going to have to uh, be tough here. You know, this guy's a returning state player here. He's not going to just lay down. So, yeah. you know. Yeah. He, he's he's got to do a better job of defending. 
and he wins this. He wins this here. Um, this isn't one that uh, Owasso was expecting to lose. So right. he wins this. We still won from him. Um, you know, already got a three-point lead with that huge fall from Notley last uh, last last go around. That this will be big. Not enough people brag on Broken Arrow, but they've got the oh, they've got a most premier training staff. No doubt. In no doubt. High school sports. Uh, and they've got two full-time people hired here. Oh, yeah. Hey. Daniel on the mat right now is, is. Daniel's one of the best. Oh, yeah. he is something else. Didn't he just, he win something just recently? Like one of he the should. Top. He yeah, should he, win a lot. Well, and he, we were, uh, you know, my son we talked about, he's up there in Oklahoma, University of Oklahoma, Division One. I. I think this is a better, no, no knock on, this is, this is, I, I compare him neck to neck. This is. That's one thing that BA notch. BA is a Division One high school. Oh it yeah, is, no uh, doubt. Uh, the facilities. One well, and, and like uh, you said, we talked about their it. expertise and their staff, uh, all the way down to uh, the training program. And he runs a. You, you see all the kids got up spraying, wiping. Yeah. Uh, and I, I was here a long time, and Dan came in the last couple, two, three years, and did an incredible job. Uh, just top notch. That's a good uh, scrambling here that, by. Uh, that, that's by a great position. Beckley, should score that position. Does a great job. He should score that position. His head's got to get high and he's got to get that leg. These guys up. are both good scramblers here. So but get Beckley's that leg up and get your elevate head Elevate the leg. He's got to elevate the leg here. He's got to elevate the leg. Back. Keep the arm. Nice. There's there's two there by. Well, hasn't called it. Yeah, boy, took JR, a while to call JR's that. college college ref. He's not gonna call him quick. Yeah, and now he's back in his comfortable. He's got a leg in. He's got a half in. Yeah, 40 seconds left. 40 seconds. Beckley with a four to nothing lead four over nothing returning. Might, yeah, returning state placer here. Took third last year, so this is this is this is a good good match here. Don't get Beckley. yourself in trouble. Don't let him reach up, grab your head, and roll you under. But he's got a lot of confidence and no doubt the way this guy does his thing. And I think Mr. Beckley's got several little brothers coming and on oh, their yeah. way that are tough. Yeah, and, and his dad. Uh, Look at that. Yeah, he's uh, Oh, that's nice there. Um, he was uh, in the ministry real heavy, and he's, I think he's got some, a couple little uh, well-known in the music industry, you know, the gospel mu oh, wow. music wow. industry. Well, that's something nobody's ever said about me. So <laughs> uh, me. That's, uh, uh, that's something. That was a big win, for Broken, a big win for Broken Arrow. They weren't expecting that. So knocked off a state placer right there. Beckley got a 4 Is that going to make it, uh, what, 18-12? 18 to 12. 12. So Broken Arrow. Yep. Broken Arrow and... and you know, I, I again, I, I've got to be honest. I I didn't know really people when I was coaching. Uh, they would always tell me, "Oh, this kid's tough. This kid's this yeah, that." Yeah. Uh, but got this big old big time senior here. Oh yeah, K That's Caleb Collins is. You know, he's gonna he's going against uh, Ernie St. George from uh, Owasso. So we're gonna be he heavy favorites in this match here. One of the St. George boys from Owasso. There you go. Uh, we'll, we'll be we'll be favored in this one, um, and. I'm just gonna say, just by kind of watching the, we're gonna be, we're we're ahead a little bit on experience in this one. Yes, and that's why it will be, you know, favored in this one. You know, we've got a returning state state or uh, state qualifier, tough and all, you know, tough on the mat, tough on top, good on bottom. Um, we well, kind of shucked him right into his leg there. He, he did. Like I say, a little good double. Yeah, this guy's wrestling hard. Now I went to his belly here. Caleb's got a really does a really good job with the cradle, locked it up, but they went out of bounds there. So, um, like I said, that that last match is even even huge. And here's this is wrestling to get to dual state here. So the winner of this uh, duel here, um, team wise, gets to go to dual state. And I guess we're <coughs> probably going back to Eden. I guess, yeah, I'll be in Eden. Uh, Great facility out there. I've heard that. I just can't gather myself enough. to Go drive the Oh, unit. man. It's it's nice. Nice little facility. Takedown by Caleb Collins. He's probably going to start working on that cradle, trying to get some back points here. He's really tough on top. Um, I know it would be huge for them to get a uh, uh, get a pin here. We need the bonus points. You know, establish, establish himself, and then, yeah, you got to go for the pin. You got no to go for the bonus. He's getting the legs here. He's locking up the. Uh, there it is. There it Low is. Low arm. There, nice right to a cradle. Jump. That was a nice transition there. He's got 39 seconds, so he's got. Go get that thing. Get up here, work go it. hip to hip. Put, get put that, that thing back. Put that knee in the back. There you go. 
Put that knee in the side. Put that knee in the side. Oh, this guy's doing a good job of bridging here. He's fighting pretty hard. That was a nice low arm. That guy stepped that old leg up. He jumped up there and hooked oh, that yeah. up pretty pretty nice. That was a good transition here. Um, so that'll be five. Uh, he stopped it. I guess three blood points. time there, so it should be five. Five-zero. -oh. He didn't award the three. Hadn't awarded there it you yet. Go. Should be five-zero. -oh. Or did he give him? Oh, he gave him. Yeah, because of the blood, because okay. of the stoppage okay. on your back. So if you're on your back, stop it. You get one. Okay. Yes, sir. That was college, like there. Yeah. Well, college is like if they get to two, they give him four, and then that guy gets a choice. So that guy can come back and say, "I went down." Yeah. And then he can go down and get away and get another point. Well, they, they're, we're putting this, uh, we're, we're putting our uh, medical staff to work here. <laughs> oh, I, uh, there's just, they're, they're amazing. And they'll go and they'll be and they're everywhere with you. Oh, uh, no doubt. They do a good job. Like I said, they're they're top notch. I mean, you know, I, 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 I'm like, dang, can we take them? I was telling my son, I was like, can we take them to OU with you? Right. <laughs> right. You know, they're, they do a great job. OU's got a great training staff, but they're just in the wrong sport. They they're do. They're taking care well, of. Well, they got one of the best docs around, Doc Hines, that supports, oh my supports wrestling. So he's been around forever. So Dr. Hines is a legend. Oh, yeah. So he, he does a good job. He's he, been around USA since Doc. Rod and Biff were there. No doubt. Long time. So we've got a little little time here, um, blood time. They're going to start it back. Caleb's got a 6-0 lead here. Did a really good job of transitioning <coughs> into that cradle. Uh, uh, like we talked about earlier, I think he's got the ex experience factor here. Um, yeah, so. you, you kind of just from the, from the beginning of the match, you could tell there was a little bit more experience. No doubt. But was a kid fighting. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's fighting hard, man. He bridged hard and got off his back. I mean, some of those guys would have been dead to right there. So, um did a good job of fighting, fighting for his team. Caleb needs to shut up and pay attention. Yeah, he to needs what's to be there. On the yeah, he there. needs he needs to get focused. Yeah. You know. No blood timeouts. Oh yeah. Well, you know, and that's when you know you're in a tough sport when they actually have a designated time for blood. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, noses take a beating. Oh yeah. <laughs> They'll start the time back once this, once it once it starts up. So 18 seconds left here in the first period. Here, it's been all calling so far. It's good old tight waist ride. Nine no seconds doubt. left. No doubt. Did a good job chop chopping, keeping the knee in the butt. You got four minutes to take care of your business. Oh yeah. Just stay solid here. You got a six nothing lead. You, no doubt. You got everything in your direction. Don't get. In a hurry. Yeah, don't get too too. So Biff Biff has him choose top, and it looks like you know they're they're trying to go for the fall here. You know he could score weight, you know get away and get some points here, but they want they want to fall here. Um, I think it's a good call on Biff's part. There you go. Looking for that cradle. There it is. There it is. Good call. Kid's wiry, man. He's hard to get he that. Is. If you don't get that knee in the he's back, he's got to kind of get that knee in the side a little yeah. bit. Yeah, he's got to get there. You go. There. There, there it is. Go. There's nice the job, fall. Caleb. Good job by Caleb, you know. 24 to 12, Broken Arrow got the lead so far on Owasso. That was huge there. And we've got Evan Rodriguez stepping up for uh, Broken Arrow at 126. He will be going against uh, Jackson. Uh, this is Jackson Humphreys. This is Bryce's uh, twin brother here. Okay. So this okay. will be a pretty good match here too. This match can go either way. Both these guys are really uh, uh, good wrestlers, so this they can probably, go either way. They probably wrestled a couple times. They probably have, and, and uh, I think they probably, you know, Evan lost the year last year. We are talking about it with that knee injury, so he was he was out a, a year, unfortunately, so he, he didn't get to get too much wrestling in last year. Oh, long kids like this Humphreys. They're, oh, they're yeah. just so, so hard. Uh, both, both the Humphreys boys are just long and lanky. You know, they can grab your ankle or anything at anywhere. And they're twins. Yes. Oh, huh. yeah. I bet there's some competitiveness in that oh, that household. Goodness. <laughs> and there's nothing nothing competing against twins have ever come good out of it, just simply because they're just all of their lives they've just been at each other. No and, doubt. Uh, had a built-in workout partner any time. I mean, oh, yeah. 
You talk about having guys at the same weight. I mean, there's a nice belting guy. Nice shot there. Nice shot. There's some of that leverage that we're talking yep, about, though. Yep. It's just so and going to come up in a great position. Going to going to come up and and he's going to scramble. Well, this is a good yeah, scramble he's here. Doing a good you know, job. Uh, Evans did a really get good job. Get your head here. under that. You got to get your head under the leather. There you yeah, go. There you go. Nice. Ooh, now you can get some back here. He's got a cradle that's here. That's over. You've got an inside that's leg a, cradle. That is a hard cradle to get out you of right can, there. Oh, he let go of it. I'm gonna, if you get an inside bottom he leg, he should have kept cradle, that leg. He let go of that leg. He should have kept that leg. You, you can't, you can't, you can't fight it. No doubt. And your shoulders are just stuck to the mat once you have that. That's a hard thing to get out of. So 5-0 lead here, um, Evan. Great finish on a scramble. Um, probably should have kept that leg. As soon as he let go of that leg, the guy kind of scrambled out of it and got got uh, got away. Jackson Humphreys did. That's six seconds left here. Now, Bocanow's wrestling really good here. This this whole also team's tough. Like I said, they started they started the, the duel in a in a yeah we started the duel kind of with two of our two of our youngest you know, right. kind of two of our youngest guys right. two year wrestlers kind of starting starting the duel and and I want to apologize again to uh, Braden Jones we kind of confused him and uh, Farquhar up at first but um, you know those guys uh, scrapped and battled hard and I'm gonna promise to go in the room a little bit more but I, I can't. I can't guarantee I'm going to know anybody. <laughs> right. There's not any of we these We talk kids. about aging. That's part of aging, too. Not any of these kids were here when, uh, uh, now, uh, of course, they were in junior high. But it's your little state run. Yeah, you, you, you've, uh, I'll tell you what, it's man. It's my fourth year out, so. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you take that. God, it doesn't seem that long, does it? It's like it goes fast. Goes by fast. It does go by really fast. You know, that's something else we talk about, you know, getting older is like, yeah, that was the other day. He's like, no, it was like three years ago. Yeah. Like, wow. Yeah, absolutely. The worst time went. You know, uh, and what really kind of brought it to light was Zach Marcelli playing in that national championship game. He's been there four years. Yeah. And I'm so proud of him. Because oh, no doubt. He, uh, he's not only been there four years, but he's not been the premier linebacker that he, you know, and the, that, but he stuck it out and he's made the grades he's at battling, Texas yeah. Chris University. He's playing for Texas Christian. I mean, yeah. uh, uh, that's a that's a testament to being a wrestler, well, in my opinion. And I, I support those guys so much. I, I, I can tell you their numbers. You know, number 34, number 19. You know, Potter's 19 for Kansas, right. and he's 34 for TCU. And I don't know now. I don't know if Harriger. Now, I know I know he's a great football player, but I don't think he played in a premier division he one. Play, no, he played uh, South Southwest Missouri State, I believe. Was it Joplin? D2, yeah, Joplin. Yeah, okay. yep. So. He might have went up there with Stumbo. Were they Maybe. there at the same time? I don't know. They might have been. Um, Stumbo was a load, too. I'll tell you what. Evan's doing a good job. He's got a major here. He's got an 8-0, and he's working for a fall here, man. He's looked really good this match. Hey, man, these guys have wrestled at Ohio. They've oh, wrestled man. at Gardner Edgerton. Yeah, they've, they've, they've wrestled, wrestled some Gary. tough competition. Uh, they've they've gone up against some stiff competition. Well, and then they even wrestled the duel against a, a number three in the country, Stillwater, right off the Stillwater bat. Stillwater, right off the bat. These guys have wrestled tough, and they they battled every you know every time I've watched them, they have battled and, and wrestled hard. They beat Absolutely. the number one team in 5A, El Reno. Really bad. I think they only had one loss in the whole whole duel. Well, they had their, a their stud returning state champ. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they dominated. Yeah. Uh, El Reno. So, I think they shocked them. Yeah. They 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 beat them in their home gym pretty bad. So, you know, Evans doing a good job, man. He looks really good here. He's wrestling really good. Yeah. Jackson Humphreys is a tough wrestler. Third He's period with major going into third period with major, yeah. working on a major. I don't know if I'd have went down here. I might have went top if I was a loss. So try to see if you can't catch him in a, a pin or something, you know. Because you're, it's going to be hard for you to get an escape and, and get back and, and cut down on this lead. Just got to keep your offense going. Yeah, and Evan's got to keep wrestling here. He's got seven points. We talked about it before. To get bonus, you got to be eight or above. Um, once you get to 15, it, it's considered a tech, and the match is over. But um, he needs to get to eight to a four. Eight, anywhere from eight to a 14 points gets you a major, gets you a uh, four instead of a three-point win. It gives you an extra point there. One of the things that Rod and Biff were both talking about was that uh, Gary, that at the end of the match, winning or losing, they were still coming after you. We were still taking people down oh, yeah. with like so many seconds left, and uh, the fight in this team is is, is awesome. So I see that that. To me, we're up eight one on a Get good out kid. Of that upper body, yeah. yeah, there's no reason for a. Well, and that's kind of why if I was a Wasa, I probably would have chose top because getting away and even getting a throw. If you don't pin the guy, you're still losing this match. That's right. You know, uh, you Absolutely. might have a, a shot to get him in a cradle or something. Which the, you know, Humphreys is really good on top. So 
Maybe you'd catch them in a cradle or something. 51 seconds left, 8-1 lead. Nice, to, it'd be nice to get a major out of this. I, I, uh, know, we've, I know we've uh, kind of talked about um, Coach Johnson and all that, but we've got Coach uh, Russo over there, and then we've got the legend, Coach Ernie Jones, sitting over there. Guys, that staff is amazing yeah, at Broken Arrow. Pretty nice staff. You know. You've got Coach Russo was, uh, Just all the way was up a legend at, legend at Bishop Kelly. And then went on to wrestle at Fresno. He was a three-sport All-Stater. Jeez. And just a great guy. And then the, the legend, Coach Ernie Jones, is, is, you know, one of the best to ever do it. You know, Coach he's the great Kenny Monday. And, 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 he's, uh, he's over there, and he's, uh, uh, he's enjoying it. You know, <laughs> yeah. uh, 79. Hey, he's got the now, energy. I say he's, he's got more energy than me. I say he's 79. <laughs> he might be 78. My son absolutely loved Ernie, loved Coach Jones. Well, he, he, he enjoys being around the boys. He enjoys being around the grandson. Oh, no doubt. And he says he's got two more years after this, and oh, yeah. he's going to graduate with O, uh, yeah. and he's going gonna, gonna to be his farewell. Oh, man, he's uh, a legend. Hey, that was a big win there. Great win. By the way, by Evan Rodriguez over uh, Humphreys. Um, rough night for both Humphreys Ethan, boys. So. Ethan Rodriguez. No, this is Ethan now. That was yeah. Evan. That just yeah, no, I'm no, yeah. Here's here Ethan. Ethan. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Here's the brother here. So this is the older one. And I, I have no clue who the Wasp kid. Yeah, is. let's if see. He's a guy that if he's he, he's a guy that's been around. Or let's see. So they're going to be wrestling here. Um, that's a two point takedown. Wasp nice. Micah Micah Russell here. Come out, come out on fire. Yeah, he. Got a takedown right off the bat. I don't know too much about Michael Russell, but that was a good takedown here. And, and uh, the move that Ethan pinned the first kid with, uh, we got the call. Uh, that's something that you fall into. It's not something that you look for. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. And he fell into that last one, and he had it, and he took it, and he took advantage of it, and he pinned him. Yeah. Right then, the guy's on the leg. Instead of defending, he starts looking for that combination. And uh, I don't even know what you call that. Uh, what we called it, the Mel Curry. Yeah, Mel Curry. Back the, in the day. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I think uh, O'Brien Mel Corey wrestled UCL was a couple stud, time national champion. And I, I tell you what, he could hit that. Biff wrestled with him at UCL for a bit, and he said that dude could hit you with that move. And he, you knew it was coming oh, too. Goodness, <laughs> he coached Bartlesville for a time period, and wrestling Bartlesville, you would just openly have to train. Yeah, you got to finish those singles. Every one a of those kids different. One of the, every one of those kids could do it. Yeah. It looks like uh, Ethan's going to cut him here. He's got a 3-2 lead here. Um, It'll work. Still hadn't released him yet, so no points yet. Looking for that. Looks like he's kind of looking for that snake or cow catcher, you know, um, depending on what area you're at. Good job running him over. There's a escape here, 3-3, 48 seconds here in the first period. Rodriguez is uh, another just got it tied here. A nice little try on your yeah, fireman. Yeah, a nice little fireman. Elbow. Short fireman's by Russell there. Owasso. Right there, pull that wrist. Push and pull that wrist. Pancake him. Oh, oh Quentin Bell. Nice there. I don't know if you remember Quentin Bell. I do, actually. I, I don't know if it's true or not, but someone told me he passed away. Um, oh, oh, Quentin Bell from Choctaw oh. was a stud. Oh, wow. I've yeah. not heard that. I, I, I was heard. there at Choctaw two years with him. Yeah. I, I, and uh, I, have, I haven't had it confirmed, but I've had two people say it was some kind of I don't know, heart deal or something. And they said he passed away. Oh, so yeah. hopefully hopefully it's not true. And it's I'll just, have to ask Benny that. Yeah, yeah, he would know. There's nice a fall pin. right there. Um, but he was the king at that. He'd oh, that he, was, he was he'd a push stud in and he, he would take that wrist. And went up, he went up going up there and wrestling at North Carolina. He went to North Carolina. Yeah. He did. Uh, he did go to North Carolina. He was a tough kid. No doubt, no uh, doubt. I think he's a three-time champ. Yeah, he was he was a stud. He turned it on in in, in high school a little bit. That's way back in the day. Now I don't even know. <laughs> were, were you in high school at that I time? was. Yeah, I, I wrestled with those guys all the time. Me and Marsh used to go back and forth all the oh, time. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then me and Holman. I I never lost to Holman until mm. actually he came real close to beating me real close. And then his senior, my yeah. senior year or something, he bumped up a weight and took it to me. He beat me pretty good. He was. He was like ranked number one or number two in the entire country. Yep, uh, that would have been probably 97. Yeah, 97. Yeah, that was my first year there, and I was. He was a monster. I was really, really, really impressed with Matt Holman. Oh, yeah. You know, Torres right there with a the good. Nice. Some Torres got a fall right there, went straight into it. 
Um, you know, Matt's a great guy. He helps out a little bit, but he's had some health issues as well. He's, yeah, you know, he kind of lost his eyesight yeah. when he was at OSU, kind of a mysterious. Uh, yeah, had some kind of. He was a cowboy. Yeah, a cowboy. And would have probably blended in at some point in time. No doubt. Because uh, he was, uh, he was oh, like he you was, said, one or two in the nation yeah, coming out he, of high school. He, was, he turned it on. Uh, here's here's Roop here. Um, so we've got Roop here. And I'm trying to see, trying to figure out who we've got here got for Owasso. But Cadence Roop here for, for Broken Arrow. Got Roop here. And then who do you have coming up here walking around? So it's that Matthew Mann that's So we've got uh, Derek Lockridge right here. So Lockridge is wrestling for Owasso. Um, Roop here. Looks like the same move back to back. Got another snake here to a pin. You know, I, I've noticed that, you know, Broken Arrow's doing a real good job of finishing matches. They're going for falls. They're yeah. not just looking for wins. Right. They're going for falls. And, You're right. Um, I've said it before, but, you know, that coaching staff's done a really good job with these guys on the mat. They're not bad. They know a little bit. No doubt. So Cam Miles here. Looks like Cam Miles for Owasso. And this is not our. And this is going to be. Is this Matthew Mann? This must be Mann. It's got to be Matthew Mann here. Because this is not Lawless. No, this ain't Lawless. This is like going to be Matthew Mann. Uh, Lawless's hair is a lot prettier. <laughs> yeah. Boy, they're trying to go for a snake again. Looks like they're going for it. Oh. You better oh, be careful here. Headlock. might get caught in a headlock. Got to be smart. Just you got to be smart and just finish it. Yeah, just get your two here. Two. Two points there. There's that. Yeah, it looks like Lawless is back there warming up, so they might bump Lawless up to right. uh, 157. One of the things that Biff's particularly good at is he's particularly good at matches and matching. Oh, no doubt. Uh, who should wrestle who? Well, you know, we're talking about how tough Gary is. My son actually <laughs> said that Biff was was the guy who came up with the strategy for him to win the Gary tournament. You know, he wrestled two top ten guys wrestling, you know, and, the, and, and right. they wrestling each other in there. And, and uh, you know, Ken and Acklin, shout out to Cannon, one of the studs. Yes, Ken and Ackland. Ackland boys are tough. Oh, they're tough. And 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 he told Christian, do a misdirection. He's stopping your first shot. So Christian misdirection. He goes, hey, owe it all to Biff. So Biff's a strategy on these guys here, and he's a strategy with just this yeah. match strategy. Yeah, he's 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 pretty versed. He does a great job. So here and now we got. Uh, uh, Is this the last Lawless. match of the evening? You know what? It might be because I think we started off at 65. 65. Yeah, so this is Lawless here bumped up. He's going to go against uh, uh, Jesse uh, Robido. So Robido here. Remember, uh, so we're talking, uh, it kind of reminds me, it's almost spelt like, remember old Rodney Rodeau that wrestled for Midwest City, mm -hmm. played some ball at OU. <laughs> He used to bark on the side of the mat when he was getting ready to wrestle, and he was a stud. He was a, a great defensive back for OU, too. There's that cradle again. Chris, with this dual win, it's 15 straight years. District champions going to the dual state championships. That's awesome. Uh, that's quite a, that's quite a feat. You know, consistency quite a feat. and, you know, Broken Arrows wound up with the final. Um, let me see what 57 to 12 was the final here. Um, in a, on a good Owasso team. So good Owasso uh, team. They finished uh, top five at the Jinx tournament last weekend. Yes. Uh, and so they're, you know, they're, they're no pushover. And, uh, and, and, uh, and Broken Arrow will be going to dual state, um, giving themselves a shot. You got know. him another trip to Enid, man. Get no to make doubt. That, get to make that drive. Enid, Oklahoma, man. And, uh, you know, I, I just uh, I'm, I'm thankful once again, like I said, Sean, that I get to sit here and uh, and get to commentate these match next to you and watch Broken Arrow oh. wrestling. I love watching the Tigers, and uh, I love actually I look talking next to a former Broken Arrow Hall of Fame coach. Hey, look forward to doing this again. No I, doubt. So we got we got at least have one more. No doubt. Uh, in, in it, and uh, I look forward to being with you. And like I said, you do a great job, and it's a lot better doing this with you than Steve Cowan. So uh, <laughs> I hope Steve's watching at home. There you go. Uh, well, but uh, well, I think we're going to wrap it up. Yeah, we're wrapping it up. Thanks, Sean Jones. This is Chris Forbes and Broken Arrow Tigers win the district. So talk to you later.